conscripted by a secret organization. A group of strangers is loaded into experimental metapods, hurtling their souls across dimensions and into unsuspecting avatars. With each trip across reality, these newly minted metapilots gain access to unique powers and abilities, slowly transforming them into true masters of the metaverse. Masters, masters of the metaverse, masters, masters. Of the metaverse, they travel through time and space and stuff. Troll them, reroll them, throw them above. They fly through dimensions, this isn't love. Heroes compelled, they have no choice. The model winds of a secret voice. Masters, masters of the metaverse, masters, masters of the metaverse. Masters of the Metaverse, Masters, Masters of the Metaverse. Hi everybody, welcome back to Masters of the Metaverse. My name is Chris Odie, I will be your GM for this evening, for this fun-filled adventure we are about to go on. The GM stands for Gorgeous Mane. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Are you going to be eating baby food all night, or was that just for the intro? <laughs> I like... So I was I, yeah. I was consuming this right before the show started because I always find it fun for me to do something utterly inappropriate right before you guys see us, just to see what the cast will do. And so yeah, I yeah. was sucking this thing down like nobody's business. So Anywho, inappropriate. Um, so uh, to let you guys know about what is going on today, we have a very fun show happening for Metaverse today. Oh my gosh! And um, let's see, something to let you know right off the bat. Um, so Maggie will be here in just a little bit. She had to take a phone call from BRB. her mom. Everything is fine, but she needed to take care of that. So she'll be back in just a second. Uh, for those of you who watched the show last week, thank you. But uh, <laughs> we will be uh, short uh, Matt Vansel tonight. Matt is fine as well, but he was in a bit of a fender bender on the way to the studio tonight. Uh, he got rear-ended, and so um, he is dealing with all of that. So we are sad not to have him or the original voice of the Fragon Wagon. Um, but oh. we will find a way to make this work still. So Yeah, we will. Uh, Matt, if you catch this at home, uh, we miss you. We wish you could be here. We love you tons, and we're I'm glad sorry, that you're Matt. safe. I'm sorry, Matt. Yeah. Sorry that so kind of the way it works around here is, um, you know, it starts raining again, and everybody forgets how you drive in the rain. Because um, we only get to practice it for like nine or ten months of the year, and then, mm. you know. We forget. We forget. We forget. You know, in our defense, it does get really slick the first time you get a decent rain. They're probably uh, migrating Southern Californians. Yeah. So, anywho, uh, anywho, let's introduce the cast. Let's kick this puppy off. Uh, if we could start over here with the lovely. This happened last time. Yeah, I was waiting for you to. Sean, why don't you start us off? So sorry. <laughs> you just introduce yourself and your character, your your pilot identity. Get some yes. water going. Hello, folks. My name is Sean Franklin, and I am playing John Stone. Former <clears throat> SWAT, current badass. Yeah. It actually says that. It does say that. Sheet. I am playing Scott Thompson, professor of science, all the science. Oh. My name is Ben Dobbins, and I'm sitting next to the talented and intelligent and wildly funny... Vanessa Postel. Thanks, Postel. Ben. Hi, I'm Vanessa Postel, and I am uh, playing Aquamarine, who is a former celebutante yogini. She's not really sure what she is now. She does have to find, find a new way in life. <laughs> She's on that she road does. now. Yeah. That's what she's doing. Uh -huh. And that's me, and that's her. <laughs> uh, Vanessa, would that's you us. do me a huge favor? Would you please introduce Maggie, even though she's not here? Yeah. You can just look at that empty spot and be ready. Right over here, you ben, have you, Maggie you Ferguson Wagstaff. You're right there. And Those she's... are not her dimensions at all, Ben. It's her hair. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Then, Maggie then. Ferguson Wagstaff. Just imagine her material materializing. I imagined her character with the hair and the old lady awesomeness for a second. Um, she's playing Rosie, who is a southern rodeo star mm -hmm. and she does not take any bs no she does not it's really awesome masters of the metaverse is a fun uh sci-fi based rpg where all of these players are portraying meta pilots who are inserted through techno babble into avatars and other universes other realities far away and yet they are still able to access skills and abilities for both their pilot and their avatar identity and so a large crux of the game is built around the mechanic of how to um, balance those two identities and figure out exactly how much of one or the other you are going to be. 
Do you, uh, so when we left off last week, last week on Masters of the Metaverse, the pilots found themselves on the jury of a mass murder case in what seemed to be Seattle in the 1980s. Things escalated quickly, though, when an alien invasion began and the pilots and their juror avatars found themselves fleeing the city. After failing to stop the invasion by lassoing a flying saucer, which is everyone's first response when sure. seeing yeah. a flying saucer, the group fled to the subway system where they commandeered the train itself and rode it eastward, running over a hive of gigantic mutant ants in the process. Thanks for that, chat. Then after providing or surviving a chat-provided flood, the team managed to cobble together a radio receiver capable of listening in on the invader's threats to the planet. We open with them having heard the conclusion to the alien's broadcast, but still in possession of both their rudimentary radio receiver and a primitive AI-enhanced city bus. The AI is primitive, not the idea of AI. AI sure. itself is quite advanced. The Fragon Wagon. Do you guys all remember which avatar you were in when we uh, departed? Yes. Oh, wow, that's a good question. I'm inside of Michael Stone, a stockbroker oh. who was being played by Maggie, who left him off of a roof, lassoing an alien vessel, and at which point chat switched everything up. I ended up in his body. You guys talking about me? Yeah, in yes. order to take the literal fall. We mind and I'm now that. currently oh, semi-plugged into the frag and wagon because the antenna still stuck on my leg is being used as part of the alien communication device, and I'm having a very bad day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had just rolled, yeah. Do you remember who you were occupying? Oh, I was Samantha Malone, mm -hmm. bartender. And oh. I think she was the jury foreman. She was the jury foreman. So or she's woman, like, if you prefer. For four person. person. The foremost person on the jury. <laughs> Mags, do you remember who you were? I was Carl Lundgren. I'm the fisherman with That's, no accent. Yes. Accents. That's right. Yes. Thank goodness, I've forgotten. How did I forget that? Sean, do you remember who you were, uh, which avatar you were in? Yes, I do remember now. I am Linda Hursley. She's a 28-year-old mom and ER nurse. Linda. Former U.S. Army. Correct. Linda. So the four of you um, have, uh, you've just finished listening to this radio broadcast. Um, you've just finished listening to this radio broadcast from the alien fleet. Mm -hmm. um, threatening the destruction of the planet unless certain terms were met. You weren't right. able to hear the terms as during okay. that exact moment <laughs> they burst from their translator, something went wrong, and instead their dolphin-esque uh, clicks that I can't do, but fortunately you two do an amazing <laughs> job on. We can. Uh, I am so surrounded right now. You are. I, yeah, you, I just you are sandwiched. I just hear teenage girls talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Um, and uh, yeah, so you guys are hanging out with the Fragon Wagon. The the, um, the yeah. Fragon Wagon itself, um, during the uh, the sequence that spark that uh, spawned, getting all these pieces fixed, something seemed to go a little bit haywire with its voice controls, mm -hmm. or with its uh, its its you know voice commands. And so it's not going to be as talkative today. <laughs> um, it might kick in off and on. Okay. But, uh, the Fraggin' Wagon. I know. Taking them. Don't worry about me. The oh. Fraggin' Wagon will be back as soon as my regular voice is in the house. Mr. Matt Vassell is doing fine right now. We like to think that we'll see him next week. Here on Masters of the Metaverse, that was a fourth wall breaking moment brought to you by the Fraggin' Wagon, created by, done. distributed by Fraggin. Sapphire Incorporated. Yes. <laughs> there you go. You can do good. that, man. That was good. That Come should get that little. By Sapphire Incorporated with the little. Wink. I think that's that's their thing. It might yeah. uh, the frag wagon might speak more today than I thought it would. We'll see. Yeah, I was gonna say that's pretty good. But uh, but yes, yeah, so the group of you um, <laughs> while out. you were having this conversation after everything got taken care of, um, the in, in the midst of uh, there was something went. You, you've all been meta, well, two of you have been metapilots long enough that you were able to recognize that there was some sort of interference that took place. Mm -hmm. um, when you were dealing with the aliens messaging and such, and that accidentally led to Nick leaping out and back uh, to gotcha. the pods. And so you Nick's know out. that he will be trying to come back to you, but you're not exactly sure right. when. When and where. It could be a two seconds for him, but very much longer for us. Exactly. It could be In up the... to a week, even, yeah. it could take. Presumably then. long enough to put ants in everybody's pods. No. Pr no, I no. think he, he would probably just it. put more ants in your pod. <laughs> <laughs> He said he regretted it. I he did say he regretted episode. it. 
Okay. So, uh, you, have to get, you have to get rid of the ants, so it'll be some other kind of predatory insect to get rid of the ants. Mm -hmm. okay. So you are currently Badgers. hanging out over on the yeah. east side of Lake Wahoo <laughs> Not in, actually in, near Bellevue. Um, oh. You had uh, fled, as you will recall, and as we did during the recap, right. the, the alien fleet and such. You've got the Fragon Wagon, which is still operable, um, but you also know that the area just was recently flooded because you're still close enough to the invasion that you have been seeing uh, combat in the sky. You've been mm -hmm. seeing the spaceships, the flying saucers, uh, fighting the, uh, the Air Force, and it has not been going good for the locals. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, do any of you remember anything in particular mm, about the, the invasion, uh, the way it was being described? Okay. Any tactics that were being used? Any locations that were being highlighted as being attacked? Do we remember? Places by the water? Hey, correct. Yes. Correct. So it seems they to be that whatever is going on with this invasion, it is starting uh, as more of an amphibious assault, albeit from the sky for whatever reason. Well, huh. it's, it's it's Seattle. It's raining. I buy it. Mm -hmm. Down from, close from enough to amphibious. The, from the sky over the. Uh oh. To write down the bronze of our day, we shine this light of true redemption. That this place may become a paradise. What a wonderful world that it would be. Hashtag metaphor. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That was really nice. Um, yeah, it was. <laughs> so as you guys are kind of talking about the, the the invasion, and you're all stressed. I mean, you're still stressed. You're the other possible avatars, the other juror members who are with you, mm -hmm. um, are. I mean, they're civilians. They're not mentally equipped for this. Most of them. They're they're right. really really in, still in shock, and they're pretty much deferring to whoever seems the boldest at any given moment which typically has been one of you pilots, if not the whole group. Now that you've got over your current avatars, let's have a hashtag for you. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! 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 yes. Awesome. Um, I am going to drop that chat, not right away, but very, very soon, I promise. I, I, I really like the Dirty Dozen because it keeps us on our feet. Yeah, yeah. I do too. So I, I look forward to not being stuck in a guy who's <laughs> nailed to the roof of a van. Unless yeah, a you roll the same number? <laughs> True. <laughs> what will the users decide? Don't have a fisherman again. You also have at least two backup avatars potentially because you still have uh, Patricia. Mm -hmm. uh, what was her name? Patricia Borden. Oh yeah, the kill. The uh, maybe kill. The accused mm. mass murderer. Right. Accused. Accused. She is still, she's still cuffed though, by the way. Freaking out. And uh, you also have uh, Chester Brown, who is the gentleman with the boombox, uh, who you picked up in the subway. We did. All right. That's the boombox that we use to record the message mm -hmm. yeah. from the, uh, the, the aliens. Do dolphin aliens. Yes. The dolphin aliens. Yes. 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 You can go Which back and listen to that message again water. later if you really want to. Yes. Because you oh, managed to record what? it. You definitely will. Right? Yeah, maybe, Soon. maybe they're water aliens, and that's why they're attacking near the water. Dolphins. Dolphin-esque. Or maybe bodies? they're here to uh, create a pact with our... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time, Time for hashtag, hashtag triple play. play. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's my favorite. Triple Actually, Total Recall is my favorite. So I like the, play. Um, <laughs> So you guys have been sticking around, you know, and, and such. It's, it's clear that. Give me a second, because I'm still learning all the names too, and I'm learning my new way of organizing stuff. That in the long run, I'm gonna like this. It's just gonna take a long time. Uh, it is clear that Michael could use some medical attention. Uh huh. Um, and uh, I've heard know, so much because he's on the inside and I on the outside. First, I can do first aid. <laughs> We're up there together. First aid. I'll give him a band aid and some with your hook. Well, yeah. I uh, believe Linda's a nurse. <laughs> I was about to say that. My character is an ER nurse. Or my excuse me, my avatar is an ER nurse. Oh, you don't have a hook for a hand. Yes. Yeah. No. But Carl, you win for style. That's for sure. No. I'm gonna still start. I'm gonna start heating my hook just no, in case. It's no, needed. you can do that. Well, I'm uh, sanitizing. That, it, I'm that will up. never be sterile. <laughs> just, well, we can use your fishing line to uh, suture up. Oh, the, uh, the wounds. Yeah, I love that. I'm gonna have to roll for damage from this healing, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not sounds... sure yet. I have to think about this. <laughs> um, so you sound. do seem. So you do seem uh, fairly convinced that you could. Um, help him out with some better supplies. You, know, um, you, you don't have a lot on you right now. Supplies, so I could I could scrounge up some stuff, I could find on, some things. That on the bus, wouldn't there be a first aid kit there on the bus? There is a first aid kit. It's not quite the same as a trauma unit. No, I know, but like, 
there's stuff in there that you could use creatively. Oh, yeah. Now, so uh, I, Grey's Anatomy. I, I would posit that um, in the attempt to communicate with the uh, alien ship, the makeshift antenna absorbing a lot of energy in the midst of transmitting and receiving has heated up and probably cauterized the oh, wound yeah. in his leg. Oh, for sure. I can't believe I'm conscious right now. Yeah, he's not bleeding much right now. Does that mean you're gonna have just an awesome hole in but, your leg? But he, he could use some serious help. Um, I can so you have a few options. You know, you could, I mean, remember that the invasion is still going on right now. You could continue to try and make do with where you are. You've got a functioning vehicle and the road ahead of you seems relatively clear. Um, you know, Linda can could try and scramble up some supplies. You all could try to scrounge as best you could. You could also do what you could to try and, um, you know, you could head to a local hospital, local uh, doctor's office, something like that, see what you could find. But in the middle of this, uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry Reed, who is the long haul trucker that uh, Nick had been occupying before he leapt out. Um, now that Nick is no longer there, Jerry mentions <laughs> that he has a uh, he has some cousins oh. who live uh, a few miles away in Monroe. Okay, and uh, that their location is uh, that they are farmers, and he says it's a safe place. Uh, my cousin likes to be prepared for things. Oh. So ah. farm. So preppers. Yeah. So preppers in Monroe? What could go wrong? 1980s Monroe. What could go more wrong? Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, question. Who is currently driving the vehicle? The bus? I believe... The Frank uh, Wagon drives itself with the help Aquamarine of... Aquamarine is the driver. Yeah, Aquamarine, a.k.a. Okay. Samantha Get Malone, car. was driving. Okay. I've only... Yeah. I apologize for the walkie-talkie app, by the way. Mm -hmm. Hurricanes okay. are happening in the Caribbean, where my family lives. Yep. So... so uh, Everybody's okay? That sounds cool. good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry, okay. just, it went off. I was shocked. I'm sorry. So Jerry said he's got some family members who live on a farm in Monroe, and he's a prepared guy. Yes. Yeah. He so likes Monroe. to be prepared for things. Monroe. That's how Jerry put it. There might be horses. There will be horses. <laughs> you know Mon be horses. You know about Monroe. Maybe food, perhaps, as well. I right. said got, there were horses, he's man. He's got horses. He actually yeah, has, have uh, he's got a, a, a nice chicken ranch going on as well. Fresh eggs. Who cares yeah. about chickens that have horses? <laughs> what do you want to Who do with the horses, horse? Linda? So that means we're going to run away from the aliens? We're going to regroup and get supplies. I'm not running. We're okay, running. so my only, so I don't know, if I can meta this moment, my only fear is if we go to the farm, go to the farm, and then we get a dirty dozen, and we're swapped, and some of our those people are at the farm, rather than where we just were. I have something for you that I learned while yeah. playing Carl. Yeah. So, so put your hand up, and yeah. look at that hook that you heated okay. up. I? It's a plot hook, still. Except the hook. <gasps> I accept the plot hook. I like that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Going to that. Monroe. <laughs> I was wanted to go to Monroe. Okay. You didn't even let me get off the top of the bus. You're fine. No, Michael. we're sailing this bus. <laughs> you're fine. So are you still hanging out on top oh, of the bus? Oh, you're fine. Right. As am she I. Would be you were up there too because you were being used as an aerial. I, I have not it? been disconnected from the aerial yet. So here we. Wow, I can pick up radio stations. This is great. Yeah, you can monitor great music that's kicking on. So you yeah. can monitor any kind of police chatter so we can keep abreast of the situation while we're going to Monroe. Uh oh. Just yes, because, because I love, love the name of this bus. Half sheep with smiling face. face. Yay! Thank you, chat. I so love it. The, um, yeah, so the fragging wagon uh, kicks up for a quick moment and says, Howdy ho, everybody! Do I understand that you have a destination in mind that you would like to go to? Monroe! Fantastic! While I am not capable of driving myself, I am capable of providing interesting and unique information and fun facts as we drive to Monroe. For example, the current population of Monroe is approximately 3,200 people. That's not, wow, really? that's not very much at all. This is pre-Microsoft. Can you uh, look up some recipes for how best to cook horse if we get desperate? Are you serious? There's a recommended, uh, He's there's a recommended recipe used by the ancient Mongolians involving uh, fresh horse meat pounded and left underneath your saddle. <laughs> what is that dish called? Horse tartar. <laughs> yes. Mm. Right. Horse tartar. Grandmother's recipe. So you start up the engine? I do. 
Fantastic. The group of you are still Beep. been hanging on the bus, so you kick off and uh, you start driving. You start heading up north and this east. This is perfect music. This is great music this for this. This is good. Montage. Yeah, I'm montage. I'm catching bumps in my seat. Interest <laughs> and 80s ish at the same time, mm-hmm. so perfect. So you drive along. Um, as you were driving away from the east side, you were seeing uh, fewer and fewer signs of the invasion. It seems that right now it is being localized to coastal facilities and coastal cities. Whether or not this will continue is anybody's guess. But they don't but seem at the moment to be moving inward. They seem to be concentrating huh. on the coasts, right? Have there been any, is there, are there any new news stories or like any more communications? So you start flipping through the radios? Uh, yeah, it's oh, like... Oh. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Leave it there. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, that one's really good. I feel, I feel like he and I are just in compromising positions oh, as I angle are. him no. on the top of the car. <laughs> yeah. Now, I want, I want to piggyback off of, of something you felt ladies brought up with the, the, the animal ocean sounds. So in the Puget Sound, yeah. you have orca pods and gray whales. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, either maybe they were trying to communicate with our sea life, uh, or uh, maybe we could find ourselves a sea mammal and get it to translate for us. Maybe we can find a spaceship and we can take a voyage home with a whale. There you go. To talk with the dolphin. Copyright. I love it. Hey, 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 hey. Copyright. We have a boom box. Copyright. I think this was uh, before that came out. <laughs> 1980 what? Two? I was in my brain around 87 or so, but yeah, yeah this would be 86. You know, the year so. I was born. So the cop running us. <laughs> this is our idea first. It, it's hard it's to think with an antenna and my leg. I could be wrong. Oh, Michael. So you're having this very loud conversation <laughs> through the through the harpoon uh, holes <laughs> that uh, the crazy captain, yeah. uh, Carl, had you know slammed those harpoons into the roof to create an opportunity there and such. Um, so, Stop yeah. moving! We're, we're getting a good one. Stop moving up there. Okay. All right, hold it. Yeah. Centrifugal force. Yeah. I good. need um I need some navigation checks from you guys. Hey, do you need it from me? <laughs> As I sail the bus. Sail, Actually, I need each driving. one of you first to um. I'm gonna be a little bit generous today. Do you, uh, oh. well. You guys, you don't have D6s right now, so. No. I have a D6. Oh. Does it have to be? Yeah. Us? I have all of my I opal dice. Use that one. So maybe. each one of you, here's what, here's what it's going to be. Um, odds, evens. So each one of you roll a D6, please. And if it's odd, you're going to start moving yourself towards pilot. And if it's even, you're going to move yourself towards avatar. Okay. Okay. So once you've done that, let me know. Just one. One go. Not yet. Oh. I got a three. Around. Team three. Okay, so you know what direction you're going? No, yeah. I forget. Okay. <laughs> Odds this way. Thank you. Evens this way. So we go I one. A player. Okay. Shaboom. Which for chat actually will be reversed, I think, the way it'll, yeah. it'll work. So then roll again, please. Okay. And now if you roll an odd, move one space. And if you roll an even, roll two space, or move two spaces. In that direction? In that okay. direction. Okay. Well, I'm off the charts. No, it's, you're only going to move one or two. I got an even. Oh, but see, we already all moved yeah, one. Yeah, which I understand. I was I, making up something on the fly. So that was, I was making your life difficult gotcha. and pretending not to understand. The result of this is that you should, either be, uh, you should either be moving towards pilot or towards avatar one or two spaces. Yeah. All right. Yep. So this second one. No, 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 no. Sean, what was your second roll? Even. even. So then he needs you were to all be pilot. here. So I'm, you're all the way pilot. I am. The first roll was to determine direction, the second roll was to determine how far. Oh. You all moved before oh. you were at supposed to. Oh, That's sorry. what confused you. I apologize for the confusion. So I'm here. Does that help? Yep. Okay. So, what happens next? Uh, well, I learned to never describe movement on the sliders that way again. <laughs> so that yeah. was a, a good we thing did. for me. Um, so yeah, so I need some navigation checks then from you guys to figure okay. out uh, how you're going to get out to your destination. All right. Well, I'll roll, uh, oh gosh. So oh, that's 2D, okay, 2 10. I'll do some navigation. Oh my gosh, six, totally made my navigation. Nice. <laughs> made it by one. Wow. I don't have navigation, but I have urban tracking and driving. Uh, area so navigation knowledge. navigation is a mental check, so please give me a oh. mental check. Okay. Oh, you know what, area knowledge would work for you. You can go with area knowledge. Oh great, then I need, I got it right on the nose. Awesome. 
This guy. Okay, so between the two of you, yeah, you're able to keep the the, the uh, party moving in the right direction. Um, you know, right. the there are some vehicles have um, crashed on the freeway because people are really distracted by the whole alien invasion thing. Did it rain for sure. five um, minutes? That didn't yeah. help. So the combination of alien invasion and a small amount of rain was just Too much. not helpful at all. Yeah. Um, but you are somehow able to find your way through the, uh, you know, down the freeway and, and off and such. It takes you longer than normal. Um, you're probably, you know, it probably takes you a good uh, couple hours to get there. But you do, really after a while, you're driving up, what? It's getting really cold up here. Yes, yes it coming. is. Um, but yeah. you are, you're driving up Highway 2, and uh, you eventually get on the outskirts of the town of Monroe. And um, and Jerry has been helping you also know on wh where to go. Sure, thanks, Jerry. And, um, yeah, you, you pull off of the highway, and you go down some backcountry roads and such, and, uh, and eventually you find yourself, um, you know, driving up in front of this... Uh, compound. I don't know what else to call it. Um, it's got a very large fence around it. Um, it's you know an electric fence for keeping out or keeping in cattle and things like that. Um, and then set back quite far from the road, a very long driveway or multiple buildings. Um, a very uh, well built house um, that uh, has a surprising amount of uh, concrete block involved in its construction, okay. as opposed to uh, wood. Okay. And uh, and Jerry, again, awesome. just kind of shakes his head and says, yep, yep, my cousin likes to be prepared for things. Are they gonna shoot us for arriving in a government bus? No, we should be, we should be okay. I'll, um, I'll I, talk to him I when we I think the we uh, top with my coat as the sail We'll give them a tip off that maybe this isn't a government bus anymore. Or maybe they'll think that everything that they always thought is it's finally true. happening. Post apocalyptic <laughs> bus probably <laughs> that is. That's wrong. true. We're okay. We're here. I'll, I'll, Are we here, Jerry? I'll wave at anyone I see in the windows and hope I don't get shotgunned. So you start, um, so yeah, so you drive in, you see. Um, Several people um, come out to take a look at you guys as uh, as you're driving up the uh, the driveway, um, and they are they're armed, mm. you know, as any good farmer would be. As a um, <laughs> you see, I don't know why I think that's funny. Because uh, they have arms. You see about half a dozen people standing outside, and uh, some very large dogs. As a former SWAT team member, I speak gun, so mm -hmm. I could go talk to them. Um, so they, gun. you see a lot of, um, they all are armed with some Ballad. sort of rifle, is what you're noticing, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they are kind of, they aren't leveling them at you, but they're looking very suspicious until you get up and stop, and, Jerry. um, and then Jerry gets out first with his hands up. Okay. And, uh, and as soon as they see him, everyone kind of breathes a sigh of relief and, and, uh, whatnot, and Jerry, uh, you know, walks over to um, this one man who seems to be kind of the leader of the group, looks to be in his late 30s, early 40s or so. And uh, and Jerry just says, Cousin Gus, Cousin good Gus. to see you. How's it been? Oh, and, uh, there's tension. And Gus is sitting there and, oh, I could use the hat. Oh yeah, that's a <laughs> super <laughs> Gus hat. Gus. There oh, we go, there I didn't plan that. There he is. And Gus just kind of squints a little bit. <laughs> oh, Gus. <laughs> oh, Gus. I don't know about him. What you, what you, what you bringing here? What you bringing here, Jer? Oh. Seems like a bunch of strangers. You know, there's things going on, right? Hi, Gus. Who are you? I'm Aquamarine. I mean, no, I'm not Aquamarine. Um, who am I here? I'm Stephanie. Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> this, you gotta shuffle this is a, a really little good bit case. with this weapon. I well, what is it? Who, Samantha. Who is it? <laughs> I'm Samantha. It's really nice to meet you. Mm, we'll little see little about baby. that. Hey, What's going on here? Hey, Gus. Uh, I shout from the top of the bus. Hey, Gus. Um, <laughs> I'm picking up radio stations like crazy right now. You got any tinfoil, man? <laughs> tinfoil? Tons of tinfoil. Who would have tinfoil? Can you make up a hat for me? Why the hell would you want to have a tinfoil hat? That's pointless. To keep the radio stations out of my head, man. He looks over at Jerry. One of your people crazy? <laughs> Looks like he's not right in the head. 
Oh, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he's you see that from off the top of the uh, <laughs> on top of the bus? Yes. I will peek out from behind the shitty sail. <laughs> he's fine. Seriously, aliens? You know they're you know aliens. You're, moving, you're more pilot right now. Than... I know. Okay. Rosie's into this guy. <laughs> like, let's be real. Yeah, it's true. Rosie's into him. <laughs> it's true. Rosie wants. Yeah. I'm sorry. You were saying something. <laughs> Go team! <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Gus kind of looks you guys all over, and uh, there's some conversation between him and uh, and Jerry, and, um, you know, just kind of, and, and they're arguing a little bit. Since the pilots are having trouble, trouble remembering, remembering who they are, are. maybe a hashtag total recall is necessary. <laughs> It's all the logic. That's why I think it like is. That. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so uh, the two of them are arguing a little bit, and you're hearing you know bits of words and such. And it sounds like they're arguing about whether or not um, it makes any sense to for you guys to stay. I propose something. So I want to roll against my intimidation, not to intimidate, but just to make him respect me. So okay. that he's not like, who are these losers? And I'm like, hey, you know, we're legit here. We're not just some dudes rolling up. We have some real business here. Okay, and you are currently. Uh, well, my character is Linda Hursley, right? But I, my pilot has. Uh, in, 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 so I mean, you're you do all have pilot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're all pilot. Yeah, go yeah. for it. Give right. me two d eight versus your intimidation. You're all pilot. Two d eight. Ten. Yeah, you make it. It's a little closer than you wanted, but you made it. And um, you know, that, but you know, you're also in the body of 28 year old Linda Hursley right now. So um, and this guy is not necessarily the most um, gender woke of people. And uh, is, that, is that how is that how you say? It? I don't know no. what it is no. now. That's not how you say it. I, you know, I tried. <laughs> I gave it a shot. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so you, you know, you, what, so what do you say to him? I say, <clears throat> what's his name? Uh, Gus. 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 So, Gus, we respect your, uh, your farm, respect all your family and everything. We're not trying to come in and cause any trouble. You, we have a lot of people You respect my here. authority? I respect your authority. Okay. But we have a lot of people. Book club is unable to pay us tonight. Have a hashtag Dozen. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Fun. But Mr. Gus, we have a lot of people here who, some of whom have been injured. Our friend here is an antenna. We have folks here. My leg feels funny, man. We are the Captain Gillespie and our first ever initiative. A bragging wagon with no background. Invasion. So, will you like Here's the start of the hashtag. Yeah, we do need one. We do. You have to tell me what the topic's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll start thinking about it. Twist my arm. Um, okay. Uh, so, you so, we ask you, Mr. Gus, if you please help yeah, us out, right. give us some shelter, maybe some food as we try to regroup. And figure out what next to do. Hold on, um, you got injured. You, um, if you got injured with you right now, that's just gonna be using up supplies. Oh, we have we have some supplies. We do have some supplies of our own. Okay. We just have one, and I I can talk with the aliens. Okay. Yeah. Would you, you like, like to know what you're up to? to? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, that reminds me. I should add. You could just like tell us what you're planning. Uh, yeah, via that. Yeah. That, that reminds me, there is a hack attack because there was one that uh, I was given before the show. <gasps> uh, what? So I know what it is. No. What? What, is yeah. it? what is it? I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. Be patient. Um, so, and you continue to spout. I can talk with things. aliens, and I'm totally serious. We seduced them. Starting hashtag cool, because, because I think Rosie is Carly's challenge these fellows way. way. <laughs> Robot competition. Yes. Um, I need yes. every one of you to roll a d12. Okay. Roll a d12. Yep. Oh, I'll start with Sean today, yep. Oh, all of us. Yep. Oh. Rolls this one dirty dozen. Uh, it's the first one. Five. 
Nine. Twelve. One. Please switch to whichever oh God, number you just had. I'm driving oh, I'm the bus Linda. now. No, oh, no. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm I driving the bus. I just tried to... Well, we God. have stopped. Wait, hold on. Oh, for the moment. So I'll take over once hold it's on. time. Hold on, hold on. So, John, what did you roll? Uh, 12. I'm now Mary Braden. Okay. Musician and slash had, busker. What was you get? She might not have her clothes back on. Rosie, you should determine she doesn't, that. actually. Rosie? Who are I'm you? Linda Hursley, number nine. I'm who he just was. Okay. Who? <laughs> Except I'm not a SWAT person. That's my yeah, Mary, <laughs> Mary you know. is totally naked from earlier when she stripped down to welcome the aliens. Also and, my uh, fault. Yes. Yes, you accomplished a lot in that first episode. You <laughs> did indeed. You've messed up all of us. Well played. Now she well. has a new avatar to mess up. <laughs> what number did you have? I'm Samantha Malone, number one. Ooh. Oh, man. I'm driving the bus. Mm-hmm. I actually have really appreciated the things that you have done, though, uh, Rosie. Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, number five, Debbie Callahan. Debbie Callahan. No one has controlled Debbie yet. Oh, she's the aerobics instructor. She's an aerobics instructor. Oh, dear instructor. Lord. Aquamarine is in an aerobics instructor. I oh think my gosh, is, she's an actual cat now. I think this is going to give you some sort of huge seduction bonus as a result. Wow. <laughs> because your skill sets overlap a lot. Yeah, also because I'm, I'm fully pilot, I feel like Debbie probably wants to be the driver and probably okay. is going towards that area. Yeah. Okay. Chad's back there today. Oh. What? Or will they? Hashtag How what? Axel F. That's a song, isn't it? From uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. well, wait, what did they have? Do we know how to do what? Dun, dun, Axel F. Dun, dun, no, that's Rocket dun, dun, by uh, Herbie Hancock. Oh, you're right, my bad. Axel F is Axel Foley. Yeah, it is, about. but what is the song? Is it, it's, Which song? Uh, Nick Foley. What's the Beverly Hills... Is that do neutron dance? Oh yeah! How did I just know a song from the eighties? The world just broke. Because you I, lived through the eighties. I know, but I ignored them. Oh, inside your room playing the video game. Yeah, Herbie Hancock. Okay. Get it? Yes. All right. Anyway, um, so yeah, you guys are all swapped avatars now in the middle of this conversation. And who was it? Uh, uh, Rosie, as Linda, you were now having this conversation with Gus about oh. the validity of you guys staying here. So he says, well, explain to me why this is worth it. I mean, with all due respect, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I can, I can justify keeping my cousin here, but... Why should we let the rest of you stick around? Because uh, humanity survives by being a a group and a community, and one cannot survive on their own. Yeah, Linda. Well, we've all been surviving here together for quite a while. Yeah, but as a a group. Right, no, as a group, though, as a community. And Edward, consolidated material enterprises continues to have problems with rebranding. Everett has backfired with this brought by the complaint known as YLC. But don't worry, Sapphire Industries is here for all of you. Hashtag, 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 Yes. So I decide to join in the effort and begin crying uh, uncontrollably because I'm naked and cold and wet and I just want some shelter and these men won't help us and nobody cares about us. We're being attacked and I've been through a really horrible ordeal and nobody will give me any clothes. Oh, Mary. And I'm hungry and I'm only 23 and I'm a busker and I don't have any money and I just used to busk to get money to pay for classes. And nobody takes me seriously, and I'm a serious artist, and I can't stand this anymore. There are aliens after us, and you people won't help us. What kind of man are you? What kind of man are you? It's, that's, wow, that was close. Um, <laughs> that was close, man. I'm surprised um, that thing you did. Yeah, but we have a new setup where they're pressed together instead of spread Please out. Please give, give me a my seduction shawl. check with a... Three point bonus. Oh, well, in that case, three point bonus. All right, here we go. Oh, I have to use a die eight, though. Yes. I reckon. Here we go. 
Well, no, because you are pilot, so you actually need... Oh, you can't get in that because you're all the way avatar. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me look at what you've got right now. Oh, he can't use her. I mean, yeah, he can he was, But he was mimicking her as... Yeah, yeah. As, uh, as John. So, let me so find it has that to be thing. a John ability. Yeah, John, if you could give me... Mm. Oh, you've got a seduction check, too. For women. No, it just means you have a bonus. Bonus women. Okay, yeah, so give me a seduction check. All right, so 12. Bang, here we go. Yeah, with a three Bang. more bonus. You got three this. Bonus. <laughs> oh, one. Woo-hoo. <laughs> that was on 2D8. Oh, two, I'm sorry. So 2D8, that was a 12. 2D8, ah. That was a one on 12. It was a very good roll. But 2D8. 12. A total of 12. Right on. Wow. Total of 12, three point, get a nine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, He, I mean, yeah, he starts having some sympathy and... He's like, oh, well, little lady, I, I'm you know, about the same size as my daughter. Yeah, uh, yeah. It looks to get you guys all over. Yeah, well, you know what? I apologize. You're right. It's thank t- you. This thank is, you, Gus. This is a this is a tough situation. And yeah, it is. We, strength in numbers, and we need to come together as humans against alien forces. Mm-hmm. We don't need to be divided. I like the way you talk. Mm-hmm. Literally, thank literally you. like the way you talk. Yeah, you sound very yeah. similar. My, my philosophy professor had a voice just like yours. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. Yep. That must have been um, sitting. I, these are country type folk. They are. Excellent. I would like to use my organizational tie of yeah, my rodeo, rodeo connection to see if there's any kind of like, maybe there's someone who is younger now, you know, because we're back in time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I would just like to use that in some way. Yeah. To see. I, I, got, I got an idea. You give me your roll. Uh, <laughs> that is a eight. Okay. I don't have a number next to my organizational yeah, time. No. <laughs> no, but I know what your organizational... Yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah, you actually, during this conversation and such, as Linda was speaking to Gus, um, you take a stock of the other people who are... Um, standing around yeah like i said they're all armed as well you can tell you know you guys have been alive long enough that you can tell these people do look related yeah okay. um, you know they don't look like they're part of one family branch but they do look related like kin um, they're kin folk if it were and okay um, i am but uh <laughs> but one of them is wearing a um confused. a shirt that has the um is wearing a T-shirt that has the uh, Nat North American Radio Association um, yeah. logo. Yeah. And advertises a uh, a recent um, a recent rodeo uh, that took place at the Evergreen State Fair mm. earlier that year. Very and nice. you are you are such a student of history yeah. that you know that at that rodeo, which took place a week before. Mm-hmm. Your mentor, <gasps> oh Gallop and Gertie, <laughs> the one and took only. first <laughs> in roping and steering, Rope and whatever, and steering? Or whatever it is that you can take first in. I want a Gallop and Gertie. That's a, it's did a she, restaurant. Did she do it over the water? It? It's a bridge. No. No. Oh, it's a real. Oh, it's a bridge too. Yeah. Oh, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Oh, I love that you use that. Okay, Gallop. Yeah, she won. Awesome. Great. But as soon as you see that shirt, you know this. You, you know. are very aware. You remember the history of that day. Yeah. I don't want to say anything about it now. I just want to notice that and then pocket the information okay. for later. Okay. In case we get another kind of hubbub situation or we need to prove. Absolutely. So, thank you. Um, so they, um, you know, they, they show you a spot that the fragging wagon can get parked. And... Um, you know, it, it, it's a useful vehicle. It's sturdy. It's uh, it's got a large. It has the capacity to carry a lot of people. Really funny I, personality. I, mm-hmm. Being full avatar. Yeah. Uh, I'm realizing that I actually have no idea how I drove the bus this far, and I don't know how to start it up again to to get it where it has to go. That's all right, honey. I'm right here. I'm standing by you. Because I was thinking about okay, it. Okay. I yeah. I just it's like I f- I forgot how to how to. I, I don't know how we did this. It must have been the stress or the adrenaline. Thank you. No yeah. problem. <laughs> I, I think, think you are going, going to need to remember this, so pay attention, attention to these words. words. Okay. When, when you stand, stand before, before the invaders, invaders remember, claw to your and necktie. 
Necktie. That's correct. <laughs> Thank you. Clap Jet. to Barada's reference. It's a what reference? It's a well. It is a the reference Earth to Evil still. Dead, but it's which was a reference oh. to Day of the Earth Stood Still. Yeah. Or it was a direct reference to the Day of the Earth, Day Earth Stood Still. Yeah. It was the uh, the command words to control the robot. I believe. I thought Rainy was ill. Yeah. yeah. It was okay. The magic words for the Book of the Dead in. Uh, at least Army of Darkness, yeah. if not. Yeah. Was it also an Evil Dead? I forget now. That was an amazing little thing, though. Blippy. Let's, let's yeah. talk about more trivia. Yeah, that hack attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's trivia is fun. That trivia that we can give you here on Master of the Metaverse today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for driving me to this farm. I intend to spend the rest of the adventure hanging out in this garage. It's nice <laughs> and dry, and I like the smell of horses. <laughs> I'll visit you. Who doesn't? Thank you, Aquamarine. Thank you very much. I didn't know that was your name. Apparently, I'm also a psychic. <laughs> You're intuitive. That's uh -huh. our. That's what we have in common. Okay. Um, yeah, so you get the frag wagon parked into a garage, an empty barn area that was, you know, closed off, had space. And um, Gus and his wife, um, I had all this written down. I'm still learning how to use my notes. It would help if I looked at today's notes. Gus and Nadine Reynolds, they let you into the house. Mads. And Nadine is giving Gus a hard time. She's not very happy about how aggressive he was when he met you guys. And, um, yeah. you know, they introduce you to the rest of the family, and Jerry helps out. Okay. There are, I will give you the names of these children in order from eldest to youngest, because I know you want all of these names. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. oh, you yeah. ready for this? Yeah. yeah. So we have Bertie. Bertie, Bertie. or Bertie? Bertie. 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 Who's, who's married to Jasper. Jasper. And then is Bobby, and then Billy, and then B, and then Bud. Yes. Thank you very much, chat. We can. And they also have three dogs: Biscuit, Boomer, and Buzz. Biscuit, Boomer, and Buzz. Mm -hmm. Now, is is, is uh, Billy a boy or a girl? Boy. This is the eighties. It was Platu Verata. It was Platu Verata. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Nice reference, Chad. All right. That was so good. I'd like to start looking. Uh, a, 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 as a bartender, I'm, I'm certain that they have a stock of various interesting liquors and maybe some some unique bitters from around the world. And I, I, I figure we can really help Why calm do you think everyone. They have bitters from around the world. <laughs> I, I can calm everyone down if I make some some fancy cocktails, maybe That's light true. them on fire. Um, yeah, actually, uh, Jerry or Gus, I'm sorry. Gus probably you, likes you, that. See, do you say anything about this? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, um, I'm, I'm volunteering to uh, to put all my skills to to, to use and. Oh, yeah. You know, assuming uh, they have a fully stocked cabinet. Yeah, that's right. Nadine, Nadine says, oh, yeah, well, you know, when, when Gus and I, when we were uh, back at Columbia, um, we took a real liking to, uh, to some of them fancy uh, cocktails. <laughs> and uh, she opens up a cabinet, and there are, there's at least 15 different types of bitters. That's great. Um, sure. Several um, kind of, I mean, there aren't micro distilleries since the 80s, but yeah. some very high quality gins, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, uh, some rum. They're a little low on tequila, and she apologizes for that. <laughs> Um, but they uh, have a wealth of whiskey and different bourbons and such. That, that's perfect. So and, I'll just uh, and, and there's drinks. at least two very nice bottles of cognac. Although they don't think that this would be the appropriate situation to break mm -hmm. those open. No. Uh, now I have a question. She said back at Columbia. Yeah, they, university. They both went to Columbia University. Yep. Okay. And he had a huh. philosophy professor. Yes, he was a philosophy major. Ah, huh. and what was she? Uh, she uh, she majored in um, engineering. Interesting. Oh, what uh, what made you want to move to Monroe? No, it's coming back home. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Have a drink. Have a drink. Yes, please. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> who, who wants a drink that's lit on fire? I do. All right. Like a flaming Mo. Hmm. Flaming Homer. Yeah. So I'm going to just try to get uh, that family as drunk as I can. Okay. I like that. Morale's good. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll just pass out. And we can take care of whatever we need to take yeah. care of. Now, I, in the meantime, use my uh, pilot skills because mm -hmm. uh, I have 
physical science engineering. So I talked to her about engineering, just to kind of get on a good side, kind of bond with her a little bit. She is so excited to have this conversation with you. <laughs> you know, uh, let's see, your character's name, She feeling Jim. warm. <laughs> Nabs. Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, I got the vapors. <laughs> got the vapors. The vapors. Um, let's see, John, that's right, because you're Mary right now, right? I, I'm married. I'm married. You are married. Yeah. Right? Yes, <laughs> and you're dressed now. They've gotten you some clothes. Yes, I would hope. I'd yes, uh, it's it's gingham. It's what? Gingham. Like gingham. a it's like, like Dorothy. Dorothy. Like a picnic. Yeah. Table pattern. Like yeah. that. Oh, red and white. Dorothy. Was if you were, okay. if you were all Avatar right now, you would not be happy about this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, it's making me very happy that the Dorothy. musician busker. Yes. You're talking about engineering. Absolutely. So, yes. um, yeah, so she is. So, there's a couple of girls chatting up about engineering. And she's loving this. She gets, she goes out, she actually breaks open. Um, she's so the excited cognac. about this conversation. She actually goes and opens some of the cognac and pours uh, some for both of you because Whoa. she is so ecstatic to finally be I able to it. talk engineering with someone. All right. Because Gus, for all of his uh, wonderful attributes and abilities, is just not that knowledgeable about engineering. And uh, she starts talking to you about her senior thesis and this work that she did with a couple of. Uh, architectural firms, it's a work out there, and, and uh, she had a background in structural engineering as well. It just, yeah. She is, she is beside herself with joy to have this moment with you. Cool. We bonded. Um, yeah. Well, they're doing that, since I've got my U.S. Army background, which is not specific in what I did there, but mm -hmm. I would like to go kind of do um, a radio station checkout. Like, what's their radio situation like? Do we have radio here? Is it what's a connect? You know. Do you say this out loud or do you? Well, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to. Where's the communications? Like, what are the communications to the outside world here? So you mentioned. Did you just say the word? Yeah, I say communications. Uh, you say something about that, and um, uh, Bobby says, uh, "Hey, Daddy, no, <laughs> yeah, Daddy, no, I don't want to say that all night long." Pa, really? <laughs> yeah, I really don't. Um, uh, pa. Uh, you know, this one's talking about communications. Do you think it's safe to show her the uh, the comm center? And um, you know, you guys have been here now for a couple hours, getting to know each other. There's been some drinks exchanged and something. A couple of the kids have been on uh, watch outside, keeping an eye. B, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, and yeah. So Gus nods over at Bobby, and uh, Bobby takes you over to a um, to another door and opens it up. And as you walk inside. It's, I mean, it's not like a military command center by no, any but, means, but I mean, they've got a ham, they've got a couple of ham radios set up. Any and, TVs um, showing any news? Um, there's just been emergency signals. Mm -hmm. It's been really hard to get a, sta a stable okay. television signal. So what's, well, what's it say? Is there any, is there, is there any new information coming through on the super handy radios? Yeah, there is, um, there's, it's clear that the invasion is, is still going on. Okay. Um, the uh, the president is rumored is there was a um, a reference that the president would be speaking later that evening uh, oh. to the nation. Okay, that's so important. So while I'm talking to uh, what's your name again? Nadine. 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 Yes. Yep. <clears throat> I, I happen to mention that while we were you know in the midst of that melee, uh, we were able to record some transmissions from the aliens. Does she have anything here that could help us decipher the alien transmission signal noise? I mean, you can you you, you can play them the tape, but you know, as near as you can all tell, it just devolves <laughs> into some sort of dolphin chatter in the middle of it, and, and no one can really make heads nor tails of it. Mm -hmm. The radio signals that you're able to hear, Rosie, um, it sounds like. Yeah, the president's going to be speaking later on, and you know the fight is continu continuing. Have um, they taken over any city? That's what I want to know. If they've like, have they taken over something wholly? That's a good uh, question. Miami has completely fallen, and most of Florida. Uh, the Florida's coastal regions. down. Okay. Um, Nolens uh, made a good uh, sh shake of it for a bit, but they have that has, that city has also been. Uh, for lack of a better term, occupied. And there's, but there's, is there any, so well, those that are occupied, mm -hmm. is there any coming in further inward or they have they like occupied that coastal city and they're just chilling? Uh, there are rumors of sightings of, um, 
Um, what do I want to say? There, there, there's just a lot of rumors going around right now, like on, on all the ham signals and such. No one really knows who to trust or what's going on. Okay. I mean, there are people who are saying now that, um, you know, that uh, there was an earthquake in California at one point. People are starting to say that it must have been caused by the aliens. Um, you know, the, uh, what do I want to say? Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's not, there's not a lot of Facts. clarity. Yeah, yeah, it's still mm. very recent. Okay, but we've um, lost some cities. It's probably been about ten hours since the invasion fallen. started. Well, I'm going to walk back and I'm going to tell everyone that Florida's gone. So, while, while you have been away, yeah. as the jury foreman, uh, I've been in the process of recruiting the family to uh, help me convert the inside of the house into a courtroom so that we can finish this very important case. So. <laughs> So that we can make a decision as a jury about whether uh, this woman is guilty or not, because it is not fair to keep her in limbo during an alien invasion. <laughs> Samantha. So when you walk back in, I'm expecting, I'm expecting a reasonable, well thought out verdict from you, Samantha. so that we, the rest of us can debate for the next two hours and come up with an answer that is going to work for all of us. I checked no. Samantha's eyeballs nope. to see if they're dilated. Nope. I think you're in shock. Nope. I think you're in shock. This poor woman is in handcuffs still. We oh, need yeah. we, and we, we cannot legally we need to make a ruling so that we, we can decide if she gets locked up in the basement or if she joins the party to repel the alien invaders. We should free her from those handcuffs. So Gus, that's right. So uh, let, there are twelve of us here. Let's vote before someone dies, because we lost our alternates, okay? As you're having this conversation oh, and, you've, and you've pointed out the uh, the handcuffs and such. Um Gus gestures over one of his other sons, Billy, and uh, Billy opens up a, um, it's not about protecting from breaking guys, it was just the ridiculousness of where he was going, although I loved it. Um, the, uh, Gus gestures over Billy, Billy goes over to another side closet, um, opens it up, steps inside, if you catch a glimpse, there seems to be a lot of tools and whatnot stockpiled in there, and uh, he comes out with a set of bolt cutters. Oh no! Oh no! We will, this, to, is uh, this is still America, young man. This is still America. We are a country of laws. I and in this country, with our laws, we Patricia. are not taking those off until she's declared innocent or de declared guilty. And Clamps, if it's cuts the uh, center uh, chain. This is unacceptable. And in the course Samantha, of that conversation... This is... What about justice? I was given a responsibility. I swore an oath on the Bible. Samantha, Let, really? We, I swore an oath. I yeah, you so swore an oath before aliens came down and started killing all of it us. Was this not America anymore? It is and America. the youngest daughter, B, who's been quiet so We no longer so believe in the Samantha, Constitution. you have etiquette. You looks have over, etiquette right there. Looks over at Gus and says, Pa, should I shoot him? Her. No, 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 She just is in shock, you guys. Shoot her. Gus, I'm sorry. Gus, Samantha's in shock. I've been making friends and getting these guys liquored up for two hours so help. I can get away with this. We should help her. In fact, Let's I would like her. to make it. I would like to make a bartending role to see if I was that successful enough to convince them. <laughs> well played. Oh. Well, uh, I'm making my bartending so roll. You make your bar bartending check, and then there's going to be a system Oh, and shock I failed! Right after that, oh, you failed your bartending check. Oh, that's a chill pill. She needs a so, chill pill. So, right then, a system shock will go off, and a system shock, of course, is the wonderful buff that uh, shakes everybody up on the spectrum. <laughs> so let's get this figured just out. Just in time. Shake us up. So, John, this is your first one, isn't it? It yes, is. It is. It's so is, please put yourself now halfway between shot. the middle point and all avatars. So move yourself two points that way. So you're in the middle. Oh, three dang, points. Really? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, three points. Here. No, no, he was. He's, oh. he's right. Three points. You're there. I, said, I said it wrong. What? Rosie. Yeah. If you would please stay exactly where you are. Yes. <laughs> uh, Scott, if you would please go. Uh, huh, exactly where you are. That's huh. funny. That'd be nice, funny if he's the only one who Nice moves. try, Paximo. And, uh, <laughs> nice try. It was Pax, was it? Yeah, it was. It was. Um, and uh, huh. Aquamarine, we if you could please her. move one over from Pilot. Great. Just one over, please. Debbie and Aquamarine are pretty much Yes. Yeah. You're the only one who had a big team up there. You are I'm, I'm getting even odds right now, now that Scott will get one of his avatars killed. <laughs> I, uh... 
I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a possibility. Um, but no, you did fail your bartending check, so you were, you know, you were kind of shaken up. I mean, this is an alien invasion. Like, there's no reason to be able to function perfectly in this situation. And um, so they, you know, they let you know pretty quickly that under under this under this administration, uh, in this household, um, they don't really have time to deal with that. With the um, court case, with justice. With the court case, yeah. So what are you going to do? Just let her go. Well, at least now she can, you know, defend herself and or anyone else if, if useful. What's she doing right now? Well, she's not going to be cooking. We know that much. <laughs> I would get it. <laughs> so she is, um, she's just kind of sitting quietly over on one of the couches, trying not to be noticed. But she looked like her eyes just looked mm-hmm. very but, every, but everyone's staring at her right now, so she's very aware that yeah, she's Yeah, so being I'm noticed. just, I'm gonna break, so, uh, sweetie, here's the deal. We're not gonna, uh, try you. There's Excuse currently, me. okay, uh, me. tight ass over here might try to continue this, but we're not all gonna vote. Uh, here's the thing, we're getting invaded by aliens, so whether or not you poison some people at a fast food place is, uh, it's, it's moot at this point, considering most of those people probably just died from aliens. Uh, but just out of curiosity, you know, so we're on the same page. Did you do it? Did you not do it? Did you? <laughs> yeah, Patricia. Uh. There are ways to find out, so you probably should just tell us. <laughs> Odds even. Does that sound weird to you? If that sounds weird to you, that's okay with me. I know you want to survive, and we want to survive, and maybe we need to be on the same page about that. She says to you, it was a complete and total accident. I had nothing to do with it. So you did kill him, but it was an accident? It was a complete and total accident. I had nothing to do with it. There were three deaths. There wasn't just one. Or another one. Yeah. Man, I really want to seduce her and ask her to do it. Uh, Three dead, 39 seconds. Just do it. Wait, three. Di- oh. Look, if he, she's half drunk, I've been feeding her drinks that's too. That's true. And Samantha makes a good point in the sense that of like, if she's cray and is a killer, we probably should like make sure she's secured. Okay, okay let's, let's do it. So, your, your drinks weren't actually that good though. You failed your bartending that's check. That's true. They were. They still have wounds in them. The odds <laughs> evens whether you made them too weak or too strong. Here we go. Or actually, do you want to roll? Yeah. Sure. You odds roll. evens. Evens. I rolled odds. Okay, you made them too weak, so she is Ooh. pretty lucid right now. That was that was the That's error. The worst. It's there's just, no way. Can there's I no do way it? that she's right. gonna be able to hold up to Aquamarine, though. Can I I'm do not it? Worried. Yeah. Okay. What were you gonna say? Uh, when I, I, I was gonna say you got a double team seducer. Let's do it. Well, well, we no. We double team seducer together. No, Mary, well, Mary, crazy. No. <laughs> what I was gonna, but but I do have uh, interrogation, so I could. Slyly, not in a not in a browbeating kind of way, but in a friendly kind of way, try to get out of her, and maybe we could work together. You know, she's being ultra, you know, like good you cop, me, bad cop kind of me, deal. Yeah, but like it. sex cop, not sex <laughs> cop. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. no. This is an 80s thing, sex cops. 80s. Sex <laughs> cops. Wait, how is that not <laughs> a show <laughs> in the 80s? Sex cops. We have That's some so, theme music. You know the sequel is even better. I admit, chat, on Twitter, I called tonight's episode Old McDonald. I now want to call it Good Cop, Sex Cop. <laughs> Good Cop, Sex Cop. I think cop. that's the, the title of tonight's episode. Um, I feel like there's a porn somewhere called Yeah, the two cop. of you, though, could absolutely uh, could do that. I okay, think it's a great idea. It. Come on, Mary. All right. Now, I'm compromised, obviously, because I'm more Avatar, but, so I'm rolling tens. D12. 12? You will be right, rolling 2D12 plus 2. Oh, yeah. Okay. 2D12 two two, plus 2. We, look, we oh, have dang. two meta points. Move. Well, oh, yeah. you can use, we have two triple plays. Use a triple play and move wherever you want. Do yeah. I want to sacrifice them to something this yes. silly? Yes, yes, you do. You, you yes. don't want to sacrifice a triple play to this triple seduction? Mine. Yeah, no, you use a triple play and move anywhere you want. How's that go again? You I just use the triple play and you get to go anywhere. Oh, yeah. Okay. I beat my roll by 11. <laughs> Sex I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm and Debbie. Sure. I mean, add Debbie's essence here. Debbie Callahan. I don't, move I don't actually know if I love Aquamarine or if she's just <laughs> seducing me into loving her. I'm not sure if it's you, real. She's a sweet. That's that's the exact journey I think she's on too. She's, I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna sit back and watch because this woman's clearly a murderer and she's gonna kill them. The points will get you here. No, she's okay. No, which means okay. Mary, how's it going, Mary? She's using a triple player medic points. 
Well, now hold on. If she's already so super, super beaten, no, you said you're gonna do this. Yeah. Okay, 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 fine. One the other. Uh, what would you recommend? It's up to you. It's up to you. Control play this one again. Control play anywhere you want. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. anywhere you want. Triple play. Yep. Uh, all right, I, I'll use. Uh, mm, ah, yeah. Uh, so I'll use that to go back to Ooh. play. Yeah. yeah triple right. play. Okay. Thank you. So now you can give me two d eight roll on your intimidation check. All right. And you can take a two point bonus <laughs> because Arthur <laughs> Wayne has done such Thank an amazing you. job of setting you up on this good cop bad cop. Twelve. And your target number was. For uh, intimidation. Interrogation. Interrogation. Interrogation is 12. With plus two, you made it by two. Oh, nice. nice. Um, so uh, you two head over child. to, yeah. I feel like they, like, if she's on the couch, they both do that thing where they both sit down with their arms around her. <laughs> yeah, you know, that thing. How are you like, doing? Oh, she does okay? it seductively. So one, yes, so she's. Right. Are you okay? Do you need some water? Well, wait, hold on a second. Let's act this out. Come here. Why don't you. Uh, <laughs> no, we're good. So she's Patricia. No, okay. Oh, no, we're good. We'll see. We'll okay, see. Okay, I don't know. It's Patricia, you're going to be Patricia. I'll be Patricia. Okay, that's fine. I'll be I'll Patricia. Allow it. I'm going to stay away from the murderers. <laughs> Murderer. Statistically, you're in a good place now for that. Hey, Patricia. Hey. How are you? Do you need some water? No. You must you be sure? not feeling so great right now. I feel fine. Honey, you should drink something. Like, seriously. Well, I could drink more of those crabby beverages. Oh, great. Wow. Patricia's oh. sassy. Can we have another crabby beverage? You can make another bartending check and see if you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, every Ten. I succeed. And it turns out, murder, she wrote, hashtag point. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, chat. Here's a drink, murder. Actually, I tell you what, Alien Knitter, if you could do me a favor, if you could do a poll as to whether or not she's guilty. Ooh, I love that idea. I would really appreciate it. So is, is this drink good or bad? I he, succeeded. She made the check. Okay, so I got the only good drink of the night. Now I'm gonna once I taste it. It's, okay, yeah, this mm -hmm. is better. Feeling nice and warm inside. Yeah, I'm feeling better. We yeah. care about Aww. you. Well, say, I mean, you brought me with you. You just could have left me, I guess, in the trial courtroom. Mm -hmm. Your job probably really sucked, too. They probably really mean to you and everything. Yeah, they totally sucked. Working at fast food blows. Yeah, you don't even get tips like you do at restaurants. Yeah. Your clothes probably get ruined. Probably yeah. smell like grease every day. That's true. It's bad for your pores. It is. <sighs> I know, you can tell. So do you like chemistry? I mean, yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Too. I think it's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. How's Do you it like, drink? It's good. Do you like murder? <laughs> Mary! <laughs> what? I mean Murder oh, She oh. Wrote. It's a good yeah, show. As I said before, like I didn't I didn't it was an accident. Mm. An accident. Okay. Yeah. I think we've but almost it, got no? a result. Okay. I kind of feel like there are no real accidents in life. <laughs> <laughs> like everything's meant to, like happens for a reason, Mary? Like that's yeah. kind of me too. I totally. That's what I think too. Yeah. I base cool. all of my aerobics classes on that. I know, you have right? Aerobics classes. I'm an aerobics teacher. Debbie Callahan. Wow. Ooh. You should show her some moves. I would love to see her moves. <laughs> So oh at this God. point, at this point in in this good cop, sexy cop routine, <laughs> that's what but it I is. I don't know what to do because I don't know Cynthia at, at this all. This point, no. At this point, though, uh, Patricia is uh, is definitely loosened up to the point yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> where she is going to be perfectly honest right here. Okay. Right now. Let me tell you guys something. I'm okay. going to be honest. Mm -hmm. Perfect. She did not do it. She didn't do it. I knew it. I know. No, you didn't. Thank you. And she Did has a suspicion, Samantha? though. She thinks that it was one of the cooks trying to frame her <gasps> because she had rejected his advances. Oh, yeah. Men suck. That's happened right? to me like gross. 10 times. It's I know. It's so gross. And you try to tell people about it, and then they just assume that you murdered someone, and then all of a sudden you're like on trial. Trish, I'm so sorry. Why do we even yeah. have men? Like, I don't really? know. It'd be great if we could have an island just of all women who were warriors. We could train there, mm. <laughs> and we can have daughters and sisters. So while well, this is all going on, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you made out of clay. And so you're and bring them um, to life. Anyway, thanks, Patricia. Love you. Thank you. Let's uh, hang this out. Is, this has been great. <laughs> so all of you, all That's of you, what you say have... after seduction. <laughs> yeah, then I leave. No, Let's she showed out. me her, her aerobics moves, and I saw. I 
I saw things move that I was excited about. Yeah. I'm also going to give her extra special attention this whole time. Sounds good. I think that guy has a little head and showbiz in his heart. And you know what? So does Samantha. <laughs> yeah. I like hey, showbiz. that. Showbiz. Oh, I know what showbiz is. Uh, Mark, do you have the song queued up? What? What? What's going on? Oh, do you have the theme song? We have to sing. Masters, masters of the metaverse, masters, masters of the metaverse. Produced by Sapphire, starring just for you. Thank you for that new Netflix series. Let's yes. drop that uh, showbiz right now, though, and we, we need will. the lyrics. Yeah, uh, we will do it. You've got the lyrics Turn right now, and remember, it is important to song oh. and dance your way through this <laughs> because it will give you bonuses to your next rolls. Here we go. Also, sex comp was great. That was a good thing. Masters, masters of the metaverse, masters, masters of the metaverse. We travel through time and space and stuff. Roll them, we roll them, we roll them up. Masters, this is the last game. You can tell me I have no choice. Oh my God! We have a secret choice. Masters, masters. Stop. Messed up. Like ruined song. And then so rebuild. Masters! Masters of the metaverse! Masters! Masters of the metaverse! Okay, so Wow, what a your next roll. Insanely good. Three point experience. bonus. Your next roll get a three point bonus. Your next roll you will fail. <laughs> your next roll get a three point bonus. <laughs> I knew the words. <laughs> yeah, you did. But then you know what happened. <laughs> well, some of these are different. Hi. So all of you who yeah. have uh, area knowledge as one of your um, abilities right now as an avatar, I need av I need area knowledge rolls. Do By I the way, if anybody in chat can bring up a, a gif of Donkey Kong doing this, that would be a really awesome. Uh, I'm one. using no, a oh I'm God. using two. Oh wait, this is the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was the roll that I failed. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm using you. two meta points, Chris. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst. Suck it! I made deep. my knowledge check by three. Awesome. Anyone else with area knowledge? Sorry, I did not mean to say yeah. that. Oh, oh, no, no, you're fine. So uh, area knowledge, here we go. She's my goodness. My goodness. We're a bit of a mess today. I'm you have one more mess. small, uh, thin one there, uh, Vanessa, that might help to get yeah. that set up more. Oh, there's a small, thin one? Isn't there a thin in front? No, in right front. in front of you? Right there. Oh my gosh. I think that'll make Cute. Guys, it rained for the first time in Seattle in like months, so we're all a little bit wacky. Okay. Uh, so, I'm so excited. I hit it on the button again. Great. That's yes. Nice. Yes, I, I do have very knowledge. Do we okay. all need it, or is it? Yeah. Anyone who made it? I just want to know if you made it or not. Just roll it, see if you made it. All right, but I'm compromised, so uh, I'm rolling as oh, yeah. what now? No, actually, right, made it by oh, four. I'm wrong, but only rolls John. Does John have area knowledge? Yeah. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. So, Sorry. those mind. of you who have area knowledge and who made your checks, that's going to be important in just a second. And the reason that's going to be important is that in the midst of all of this conversation, um, in which Patricia has just revealed to you her innocence and that she has this theory that one of the cooks was actually the murderer. <gasps> er. Um, one of the other sons, young Bud, who had been outside on guard duty, come bursts inside the uh, the house come and says, Ma! Pa! It's happening! It's <laughs> happening! <laughs> and, he's, and he's pointing up in a, in a the walking dead. outside. And, um... Timmy fell down the well. And... <laughs> for all my stuff. Uh, he said, yeah, he says, uh, oh, over Twin Rivers, over Twin Rivers, it's happening, it's happening. The water. If they're following the water, man. And I, yeah. I want you guys, so those of you who made the roll, oh. you are aware that in Monroe, yes. there is the Twin Rivers Correctional Center. Uh-huh. Nearby. Uh-huh. And you all go running outside as Bud is pointing and whatnot, and you can see lights and what seems to be a fire going on over at the correctional center up on a somewhat not that distant hill. Are there any traces of aliens anywhere? 
Like maybe even a smoky poof, poof, poof in the air where their ship Nothing used to be. Nothing in the sky. Oh, well. No flying saucers or anything. So it's not happening, bud. So but something is. Fire. Yeah, but it's we, happening. What does he mean by it? Uh, it was just your GM using a poor choice of words. Oh, don't overanalyze. I, mean, I know you want to, and I apologize for giving that to you. Um, but I'll just, I'll just um, tell you that right now, so you don't as, have to. Okay, cool. as Linda. Thanks. Yes. More Linda now. I would know. I would like to look at us and our resources in artillery, uh-huh. and guns, and stuff. And how how protected are we? Like, are we actually bunker down, safe, good to go if we got attacked? Um, well, that is exactly what the rest of the family starts running around. Um, they head back to the house, mm-hmm. and I'm assuming you guys follow them. I failed my role. <laughs> but you're now aware of what's going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you may recall, He's a chicken coop. You may recall that when you left the uh, the courthouse, each one of you was able to pick up a pistol at that point. Oh, mm-hmm. oh right, yeah, we uh, had most of us whoever did. whoever John was occupying at that moment had a shotgun. Yeah. Uh, but I'm assuming that you kept those on your person yes. or in the fragging wagon. Oh yeah, yes. I was gonna shoot her if she was guilty. So you were able then to go and uh, to acquire those. And um, the family has a plan for this because they've always assumed there could be the possibility that someday there might be a riot or a breakout at the prison. They're so uh-huh. excited. And so they- Is this like a maximum, like what level of prison are we talking? I medium, like medium security. Medium. medium, so this isn't like maximum super baddies. No. Who no. just like, you know, it's not like take people's skin off. No, no, no. But it's but um, but, you know, but there are some bad folk in there and some folk who've done some some things that are not or the greatest. Or people who want to help. Um, and maybe uh, their hearts have changed. Maybe that's true. It's really nice. Maybe eighty percent of them are only there because of the war on drugs, and they're actually completely innocent. It's possible. Boom. Regardless, there's still going to be a threat to you tonight. So sorry. Um, <laughs> the prison. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so you have an opportunity, so... You know what, though? Uh, so uh, I would like to tell, uh, if that prison facility probably has a lot of amenities and things that we could use, though. I mean, if, if we can calm down, calm them down, ask them to join us and take over that facility, yeah, they might have some really good resources for us. So they've been planning for this, so they probably know how many prisoners does that place house? Several hundred. Several hundred. Several hundred. Yes. But clearly, there are also corrections officers there. Mm-hmm. Yes, or at least there were. Before. Right. Yeah. Well, it's an alien invasion. It's 50 50 chances of anyone staying at their job during something like that. Right, which could have given them the opportunity to start the fire. I mean, I'll be honest with you, if aliens yeah. started invading right now, I wouldn't keep doing the show. I'd, I'd leave. We'd go. We'd leave. Um, yeah. For sure. We'd leave. I'd go find some fruit We'd snacks leave. in the fridge or kitchen and then I'd head out. You yeah. Know. Get the food going first. We could also assume that of, of those who. Hey! Ooh! Nazi. You're just passing out fruit snacks? Product place. That's what I got. Uh, um. Not all of the it's Cowboys not like crystals. Sorry. <laughs> not all of the prisoners are, I assume, are going to band up against us or what. I mean, like the, there are going to be some who are just happy to be out, and they're just gonna go. Yeah. Right. It's not like we're gonna fight several hundred of them. Right. Let's finish, finish the mysterious, mysterious hashtag. hashtag yes. Oh. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, I almost want to log in to like Something see what Something just it. repeated itself. I don't even know what it means. Really? That could be a, a glitch in the matrix. I know, I know Chris will hate me, but I'm going to hashtag 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 Okay. We be sharing a body, matey. Okay, so I'm picking up. Let's make this thing go. We're all gonna, We're all gonna one share one the fish. Um, wait, are we gonna vol- wait? Question: Are we Voltroning this? Um, Where like one of us is a leg, or are all five? And I'll form the head. Or are we all gonna be? So, um, so right <laughs> which now, which I would, because I'm black, so I would be the head. See. Voltron. Yeah. Voltron. The, the lion Voltron. The bl- yeah, because it's the. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, well, because the body, the torso one with the head. Because oh, the head isn't its own piece, it's part of the chest. The, the lion Voltron was there. Five. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm regretting decisions I made earlier tonight. Uh oh. 
I would just give it to five minutes. What, what? We'll give you more to regret. That's all good. Um, so, yeah. I gotta deal with those hack attacks now. Deal with them. We're all gonna deal with them together. We're all gonna be in the same person. Okay. Yeah. Let me figure something out. Okay. We're on standby mode. Um, okay. In the, in the I got it. Okay. Surely, yes. Oh. No, go ahead. Surely they have uh, binoculars here. Yes. So many pair of binoculars. Let's take some binoculars, get a glance, uh, a close look at what's going on at the facility over oh, there. Yeah. So you do this. You, you set yourself up and you do see that there are definitely people fleeing the, um, the facility, you can tell. And it isn't that far off, in all honesty. And there is at least a dozen or more uh, figures moving in the direction of the farm. Um, the family has their own kind of predetermined where they like to set up shop and uh, defend themselves, um, as it were. Um, and the rest of you are more than able and available to to help take up points of uh, yes. Is Michael Scott. Stone still stuck on top of the bus? No, he's been taken down. He's inside, oh, and actually, I didn't bad. tell you this, but they do have in their complex some uh, some emergency supplies for yeah. medical situations. And um, what's her butt? What is her butt? Linda, who Linda, Rosie's controlling right now. Uh, Linda was able actually to do some, some decent work to him. He is not usable right now. He is going to be recuperating in the side room because of the depth of his injuries. Yeah. I can't wait till we draft that other dirty does and one so of us becomes the I, I know I, he, is, he is there. Yeah. I know I've been drinking and I know I'm a little slow. But what I'm hearing is that there are prisoners who were tried and convicted, who are supposed to be serving their terms, who have decided not to abide by their responsibility to finish their terms, that they are technically, that they are disrespecting every jury that put every single one of them into prison. Is this what's going on right now? Can someone hit Is this her? what's going on right now? Smith yes. Smith I'm getting the bus and I'm going to collect all of those MFers and they are going straight back to prison. You're not. I am. I won't let you. I am. I won't let you. I am. I'm going to the bus. I'm going to the fragging wagon. I stop. We're picking these guys up. I'm going to talk them into going right back where they belong. We all gently uh, stop Gus Smith. looks over at you guys as your friend's little We're so sorry. Up. Yeah. Um, she wants to go, that's her problem, but uh, I'm gonna protect this house. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going out the door. I use my- uh, Okay, you go out the door. Yeah. All right, I'm going to the bus. Follow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let her go. Let her go. Okay, fine. Now come work. No, Debbie's gonna follow. Um, I, I, Linda, I think, what is gonna run over and try, at least she's gonna, I'm gonna attempt to tackle Samantha. Okay. Yeah. I want to attempt to tackle her. Oh man, Here, Debbie. Ooh, you know. Ooh. Mm, ah, I'm going to use that triple play. Okay. I'm going to go all pilot. Mm hmm And I am going to grapple her as Rosie. Okay. Mm. Debbie's lover is. Uh, in that case, I need your uh, your attack roll. Yeah. And then I need a defensive check from. Samantha. Oh, conveniently, I have unarmed defense. Six, I beat mine by five. Okay. Six. You beat yours by one, so she successfully grapples you. Oh no, I'm using my one-time bonus. Uh, you can't, because you're all Avatar, and you've made it very clear oh. that your pilot isn't capable of functioning right now, or you would never be doing this. <laughs> so I'm not gonna let you use your bonus. My pilot is gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's true on yeah, so, so many I levels. Have her, I have her <laughs> grappled. Yes, you I would like to hog tie her. Okay, you've got some rope. <laughs> Here you are. Give me the roll. I'm standing there like, yeah. Eight. Linda, uh, would you say that's my lasso ability? Yes. Great, I beat it by four. Awesome. So, yeah, you successfully. Okay, I'm probably not going to hog tie you. I'm just going to. Bind her. Yeah, restrain you. Yep. I like your skills, Linda. Well, well, Thanks. Why don't you believe in America? And, what are you, uh, some kind of <laughs> Samantha? You can Democrat. gag her. It's okay. Yeah, definitely gag her. I'll give you a bonus to gag her. Oh yeah, no, I'm gagging you her. You succeeded. <laughs> you know what doesn't automatically have to be this great? One. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah. If you're so big on uh, Law and Order, you should appreciate this gag order. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hashtag uh, puns. Ha! And, He's on uh, fire. Someone get me out of this body. <laughs> 
and yes, yeah, so um, yeah, so Samantha tries to leave to go pick up the prisoners, but Linda instead, using her badass ER abilities, yes. which aren't really her abilities because she's being her avatar, hog ties Samantha, binds her, gags her, and she is thrown into, uh, not thrown into, she is lovingly placed in another bedroom. Mm-hmm. Actually the same one that Michael's in, recovering. <gasps> yeah. And um, and Michael is informed of the situation, and he agrees that there's no reason whatsoever to untie her or uh, I feel like Chad just shipped them. How <laughs> yes. Wait, who, do, who are there? Significant others? So maybe Michael, has a, a boyfriend oh, named Michael Peter. Karen assistant. He'll yeah, dump her in a Yeah, he is an assistant, and uh, Samantha has her boyfriend, Peter. Peter. Whatever. Yeah. Peter. They can ship them all they want. I've already been inside of both of them. Phrasing. <laughs> there, well, there you go, right there. That was. Oh! Bed oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh. It's been, Samantha! Uh, it's been fun. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. <laughs> And, um, As a pilot, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So what the, happens uh, in their bedrooms, awful. Jason? Anyway, Samantha, you think about what you've done. So. As you were looking, yes, through those binoculars, those of you who were, and those of the family who were, you were able to see a dozen or so figures moving in the direction of the homestead, of the farm. And um, they seem to be coming in a very determined uh, way. Like yeah, Vikings? Weapons. Oh, was this a men or women facility? Uh, men. Thank you. Yeah. Do they have weapons of any kind? Um, yeah, it does seem like people are, they're carrying something in their hands. You see it, you know, it's hard to tell. God, my first instinct is just to have you stand outside mm-hmm. naked and seduce them as they walk up. Well, it's up. getting dark right now. It's getting uh, later in the evening. We'll save it. Um, so the, we got the, this. The, 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 their farm, you said Actually, based on invasion, I'm sorry, it is evening right now. It's probably around 8.30, 9 p.m. at night. Twilight, past twilight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Full uh, night. So their farmhouse, you said it's fortified. It's not wood, it's like brick. Well, the lower levels are definitely like cinder block and whatnot. The top level is wooden and you know, kind of like a more traditional farmhouse, but they've built up the bottom part. Ooh. So is it what, two level, three level? Just two uh, it's a two story house, yeah. Two story, oh, so it's not, okay. We should get and down no there. Boat. No, no. There's electric fence around it. There is at least, but I mean, but it's but like a regular just, electric fence, like okay, a cattle fence. So you can just jump over it. And there is again, and there is a more solid wooden fence around the perimeter of the homestead, but it's, you know, this high. New. For the, For the first, first time, time ever, ever it's the Ultra Super, Super Premium Pine Exclusive Black Edition. edition. Great D Bob and now it's GM breaking action. action. The product of the Consolidated Material Enterprises. But brought to you by Sapphire Thank you, Chad. Very appreciate it. Thank you. I like the idea of a platinum Crusody bobblehead. Yeah, special edition. Rare. I like that. Your hair currently makes you look more bobbly, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Doesn't move. Not much at all. Um, (laughs) So... Damn it. They're coming towards us. Do oh, uh, is that okay? I'm kicking myself right now. For when I was in the entire. communications, do they do they have like a loud? Do they have a mic, a loud a megaphone a thingy that makes your like noise a PA louder? PA system outside. Yeah. <laughs> you want to make a big announcement? Give me, <laughs> uh, give me an odds evens roll. That's true. That's true. Odds evens. Yeah. I call odds. That's a five. Do yes, they do have a PA and uh, speaker outside. Nice. Do they also have floodlights? Give me. We go. Yeah, they've got oh, floodlights. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Cousin Gus. You better believe. So who, one of us should, one of us should talk. Rupert has a theatrically consolidated material enterprises as a rather unusual board. Fast time ready to be released. And they hire Morgan and Pete Scott Robert Williams as a spokesperson. What will it be called? The company is tight-lipped. Hashtag Oh. Thank you, Chad. Attack, attack! We haven't even dropped those other two yet. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, one of us should, if they get close, one of us should like, you know, hey, weird, don't yeah. wanna hurt you. Yeah, that's, okay, so, yeah. all right. So we turn on the floodlights, that was helping attract they can't see. Yeah, I heard that right there. <laughs> that nice was sound effects. A good shot does Good's go job. off. Oh, I thought those were. <laughs> floodlights. The floodlights. Oh, I thought that was a gunshot. Oh, no, floodlights. I thought they were. <laughs> Did you go, go off? <clears throat> Mark, is that a gunshot? Floodlights. Floodlights. Oh, floodlights. Floodlights. My bad. Oh. And because I do have uh, intimidation, I yeah. can talk to them and try to talk some sense to them and say, hey, you can either try to fight us mm-hmm. or 
<clears throat> we could take you out because we are from a higher fortified position. Mm -hmm. Or uh, we could band together because we have no idea what's coming at us, you know, with these aliens. So you want to take your chance at us killing you? You want to take your chance with the aliens killing you? Or you want to work with us? Give me a roll. Wow. Um, 11. Okay. So die eight. Wait, what am I using? Yeah, eight. A die eight. Two of them. You're using, using two D eight right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Command. And I will remember to bring the sharpies and fix oh, all your boards that. for next week. Yeah, that's a seven against my eleven. So that's okay. a four over. You you are very intimidating as you say this over the uh, the speakers and such. Um, what do they do? Hey, Mark. And how many of mother were by the way? Mark. Mm -hmm. Can I get a gunshot sound? Oh God. I wonder what's going to happen. There you go. That's what they do. Uh, and uh, a couple more start going off. Oh well. Let's get it on, guys. And um, and you start hearing the sounds of bullets impacting the side of the house. Take cover. Fall back. Get under cover of the thing. Uh, it's time to SWAT. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, it's not, I'm military. Oh shit! Go ahead shit, and I'm give so me a. T everyone, give me an initiative roll. So roll uh, two d twelve, please, and add your ACV value. I am hogtied. I can't touch you the are, dice. It's true. So some Go ahead and give me a roll anyway, because you will eventually not be that character. <laughs> That's the d twelve. I've got twelve. So roll 2d12 and then add whatever the ACV value is on right. top of your uh, pilot or avatar sheet, depending on where you are. 20. 20. 25. 5. 25 for Rosie. I'm sorry, 10. 10 for Scott. What do you have, Aquamarine? 23. 23 for Aquamarine. And yeah, there's uh, a, a lot of scattered fire coming from outside the farmhouse um, as these um, prisoners have been moving in, trying to get to the house. Um, I was about to give you some information that you'll learn later, but there's just, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so Rosie, you are up first. What would you like to do? What's going on right now is that all of the members of the household have been um, taking, you know, they're firing off the occasional pot shot as well. Uh, from outside, or from yeah, inside uh, the house. Well, since outside. I've already had Linda take over a little bit more, mm -hmm. I realize that she knows what she's doing, mm -hmm. and Rosie knows how to tie things up, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm using both meta points okay. boop, boop, to get at least somewhat closer awesome. to my army lady. <laughs> Good old Linda. Uh, I know, I just took those from Ben. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'll it's war say, right now. I'll just say stuck in this body. Yeah, it's, it's, it's metaverse war. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to start shooting back. Okay. Don't I don't know what my pistol damage is or my... Uh, you can fire off a couple blind shots. Oh, here we go. Gun cap. Gun blind. combat. Man, why is that so low? She was in the army. Oh, God. Uh, because she was a nurse in the army. Oh, that's right. So, 10 web Patreon. Plus, there, I'm using my Patreon bonus to make to hit right on it at a 7. Nice. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you fire off a uh, shot from your pistol, and um, you honestly are not quite sure if you hit anyone or not, but but you at least made noise. And I didn't hit anything? I didn't hit one of them? You can't no, tell. Sure. It's dark. Oh, I can't Even tell. Even with the floodlights, you're kind of firing off into, the, into, you know, this is just a cacophony of mess right now. It's, right. It's it's chaotic. I mean, you guys can kind of see outside, but you don't have perfect vision on anyone. Um, you know, you're seeing shadowy shapes running from space to space. Um, how, how many of so them are out there? Okay. okay. Cool. How many of them are out there? Coming 20, in? maybe. Are you said 12? Hmm? Oh, of us? Oh, no, of them. Like a 20 or so. Oh. I thought you said 12 at some point. Maybe you were afraid to ask. I might have. I actually did write out the stats for them, though, so I know that there's about 20 of them. Uh, next up would be Ro uh, would be Aquamarine. Um, I want to use my powers of perhaps cat burglary okay. or stealth to. Um, I want to get closer to them without them seeing me, so okay. I can see what they look like, how many there are, etc. Stats. Okay. Rogue action. Give me your uh, stealth rolls and stuff. Oh, do we have 
have any met new meta points. Okay. Then it would be these. Okay, stealth. I'll go for that. Ooh. I beat it by one. Cool. Should I, ooh, disguise. Burglary <laughs> cat? No, if you beat it by one, that's good. Yes! Thank you, Chad. Yay. Now we're the kids to bed and do laundry. Is that Sarah? Sarah! Love you guys. Love you too. Thank you, Sarah. I'm getting used one. I accidentally added some laundry to the washing machine, so it has to be run again. Sarah! I used one. Sarah! You know what's funny? She hates that song. She does. really does. Um, so, yeah. So I do out. the same thing sometimes for that reason. Um, yeah, so you, um, Aquaman, you decide to climb out one of the top, uh, one of the second floor windows yeah. and that way. And you uh, you did find a spot that was kind of dark, and so you climb yourself outside, and you're able to rappel down to the ground, and you start making your way uh, from building to building out towards where these uh, guys are taking shots at the house. Yes, it's like I'm jumping on the mm-hmm. the walls, etc., yep. parkouring it through. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And they are. Some of them have automatic weapons. It's kind of creepy. Ho oh, oh. mm-hmm. uh, ho. So, uh, I'm not gonna let her go out there by herself. Mm-hmm. So. Are you gonna parkour after her? Well, I've got acrobatics, <laughs> and I also have. I'm gonna grab. There's plenty of things. Bat sticks. I'm gonna grab one because uh-huh. I do have a uh, melee attack with a baton. Uh huh. Melee attack with a baton. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna acrobatic jump out there. Uh, hopefully landing on somebody. Oh. Uh, no one is right outside the house yet. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Oh, okay. That's where yeah. I want to go. You are able to go out and you, I mean, if you want to give me a, like a stealthy type roll or a acrobatics type roll to go after. I don't care about great. stealth, fool. We coming at these dudes. Okay, well, give you me You want to swap me? I swap a, things, man. Give me an, acrobat- an acrobatics check. I'd like to imagine, you imagine us both acrobatically. Oh, no, you're eights. Use your Oh, right, sorry. Use your I was like, wait a second. That looks really <sighs> Yeah. 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 That didn't work at all. Oh, that's much better. Aha. Uh-huh. Seven. So I beat it by five. <laughs> Samantha's down. Not feeling good. Oh, yeah. So you totally, yeah. You, you manage to repel after. And you, you know, you go following after Aquamarine. And if you give me a stealth check, we can see if you are able to stay relatively, uh, you know, stealthy while you're doing it. Can I, if I must. Can I roll something to see if I can tell if someone's following me, being a cat burglar, a um, master we'll, we'll disguise? On the next round, we will. Yeah. Okay. That's Fine. Ha. Four. So I beat it by eight. Great. Stealthy. You are stealthy as stuff. Yes. Uh, Scott, what would you like to do? Hey, give me a check for that. <laughs> 19. You fail at mumbling. You start choking. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Are we gonna lose him? Uh, oh Someone no! Help Samantha! You don't know that. Nobody knows that. I know, I know, I know, I just... Um, but she does. She starts choking in the room. Michael has to help her. Um, <laughs> that brings us around to the top of the round for the, for the other group. Yeah. Um, what do they do? They just continue to shoot. Um, give me a... You don't need to give me a check for this. Who all is outside? Two of you are outside? Well, we're outside. Three of you are outside. Yeah. All of us are outside. Okay. Except for four. Those of you who are outside, um, you are starting to, you're close enough now, you're starting to get glimpses of these guys. Yeah. And um, you're really caught off guard because you realize that some of them are wearing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You realize much. that some of them are wearing uh, prison jumpsuits, and some of them are wearing guard uniforms. I'm going to use all four of those matter points. Team- okay. Oh. Oh, Ben comes back using all four. He's done with Samantha's. I mean, oh, yeah, thank that. you! Oh! That was smooth, Ben. That thank you. Smooth. Thank you, Chad. Awesome. You're my hero. Welcome. 
my hero. Do thank you, first time Do watcher. Thank, thank you, you so much. Uh, yeah. There was uh, several uh, meta points that just dropped, but they all got consumed right away by Mr. Dobbins. Fair enough. Worth it. Um, so we're getting closer. So here's what I would like to do. Yeah. I like to see. Oh, so some of them, by the way. So yeah, I already told you what they're wearing. Okay, yes. Um, am I able to ascertain which one of the, these prison guard people is like the, the head dude? <clears throat> Either by rank or by action, I look at them and try to tell who's who's in charge of these guys. Uh, you guys need these. Here is an action point. Sorry. Hashtag point that I could refuse to Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brian. I feel like that was Brian Donahue. Thank you. Thank you. Brian. Hi. Thank you very much. Um, give me an etiquette check. Etiquette. Well, I'm not sure what it's become. It's rock time running time depending on chat. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> well, Thank you. Is to me. Sapphire? To the right, here Wait, did that get into that the middle middle the habitat? Uh, no, it didn't. It didn't. No, we're getting really we're still at, We're still at two. Oh yeah. my goodness. So, um, so yeah, you, you don't see anyone around you right now who appears to be. You're not seeing any clear indication of rank or anything like that. They got. Um, but you do have the ability to make some determinations of that if you were to see the right person at the right time. Okay. Uh, so who's the biggest dude? Um, I mean, they're all they're all about the same right now. But there is there is at least one uh, that you are very close to right now. But it's uh, not they? actually your turn yet. Well, that's um, right. I'm first. Yeah, Rosie, you were okay. up. Okay. Now that we're closer, are yeah. any of them bleeding? Any of the prisoners? Op op opposition? Yeah. Um, opposition. It doesn't seem like anyone's been hit. No. No one's been hit, and they're no. still bouncy, bouncy. Yep. Now is this bouncy, bouncy like abnormal? Bouncy, bouncy? Or mm -hmm. is it like regular bouncy? It's bouncy? like regular bouncy, bouncy. Regular bouncy, bouncy. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Uh. What, what's uh, the difference? What is, What do those look like? What's the difference between normal and Abnormal bouncy bouncy. Well, like normal bouncy bouncy is like pew pew pew, like normal like going, but like abnormal would be like pew, 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 right, like they're moving. Yeah, no, it's more of the first one. <laughs> normal is what again? Yeah, we've been through we've been through this. We've been we've, we've already done. I, I missed we've it. My, done my it. glasses are too dark. <laughs> it's you, like was that? I don't remember. Yes, it's that one. That's the normal. Yes. Lobster claws. Sure. Pew, pew. And then yeah. it was like. Knife yeah, hands. No, it's more the floor. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's the so regular bouncy bouncy. <laughs> dolphin bouncy. Rather than. This rapid. is, this okay. is how my brain works. <laughs> Poor Christian, you all know what he has to deal with. That's all good. Um, I would like to sneak behind them and take a shot. Ooh. Give me, let's see where you are. Give me either some sort of stealthy roll or. For Rosie, um... Does Rosie have that? So you can give me a body check for stealth. Um, with Rosie. Who's got a, yeah, Rosie has or a better Linda, body. you could give me a body check for stealth. Uh, but Linda's body sucks. What's well, average? That's body shaming. <laughs> She's got a this average for a human adult in Tristat. It is, it is. However, I'm going to use that meta point and go towards Morose okay. so I can use her... Body. You want to use her body? I'm really? gonna use her body. How dare you? And that sucks. That is a fail. <laughs> that, is, that is a super fail. I'm judging. That's okay. You're allowed to. Thanks. Yes, you aren't able to sneak up, but you do get close enough that you are gonna need to engage in some sort of combat now. Am I close um, enough that I could do like grapple one? Yeah, the guy, there was a guy who was sitting there with a pistol and he was firing off the occasional shot and uh, he got a load of you and uh, he turns to fire at you. I'm gonna grapple him. Okay, give me your I want to spear him. In my head, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing okay, a, great. a spear. That is 11, which is right on it. Nice. And he gets... He does not make that defensive check, actually. <laughs> it's because I did the Superman punch. Oh, so I'm gonna do that next. Never mind. Sorry. I'm gonna spear him first. So you come up, you spear him. Give me uh, so that, okay. So you're unarmed damage then. Okay. 
Yeah, so you spear him down to the ground, and you are now locked in um, physical hand-to-hand combat Wait. with this one guy. Are you Roman Reigns right now? I was being Roman Reigns. Aquamarine, Reigns you are up next. I, Rosie's oh, right. a big fan of wrestling. Uh, I'm gonna go in, I'm like, sorry, close. I imagine because I was going towards them yes. to look at them, and I'm still stealthy. Yes. Uh, I I would you like to help Rosie pretty awesome. <laughs> with the person she's grappling. Um, you are, you happen to be close enough that you can do that, yeah. That's what I want to do, I want to yep. pull them off of her. And so give me a- Kick him in the face! Okay, give me an unarmed attack roll. Okay, here we go. With your acrobatic We're doing it. With my acrobatic, stealthy rope. Your Zumba mm-hmm. kicks are yes. totally coming into 11. play right now. That's what you need. What was that? Your target is an 11. I beat it by one. By one. Yeah, so you were able to go up there and give a nice little pop. And then kick him, kick him in the, kick him mm-hmm. in the face. Yeah, so the two of you are uh, tra- starting to take this guy down. Okay, got him. Get him. Um, John, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to find the biggest, baddest, orniest some bitch. And- <laughs> um, John Stone. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Jack. Oh, because the world needs more keytar. <laughs> As always. Oh, nervous. Uh, so I'm already stealthy because we've been sneaking around. She and I have both been sneaking around. I'm going to yeah. find one dude, uh, and I've got uh, a stick or a bat that I grabbed from inside oh, the right, house. Oh, right, you did, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're going to go hand-to-hand with this guy. Okay. So whichever guy you uh, ascertain to be the biggest, baddest dude, I'm going to uh, attack him. So it's going to take you It's gonna take you some rounds to figure that Get out. Get him, Harry! It's going to take you two rounds to find the person who you were looking for. Okay, fine. No, you're fine. You know, it's just that you have a very specific target you're looking for right now, and you don't know who or what this target is, but you have enough of a background tactically that you can make some assumptions about where the person leading this might be, and uh, so I'll give that to you and such. Right. Um, yes, and then Scott, as you are choking to death as Samantha right now, what would you like to do? Well, first of all, uh, now that I am have regained control of this body, mm-hmm. uh, which is important. Yes. Uh, I am able to exercise my extreme knowledge of human physiology to stop choking, which was entirely caused by an unnecessary panic attack from the weak form that I currently inhabit. That's oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, Science. I then want to use my uh, my hot ass Taekwondo abilities mm-hmm. in order to wriggle out of these ropes. Uh, rig up, <laughs> rig up uh, a bow from materials in the room. Pull the antenna out of Michael's leg. Oh, it's and, already been removed. Oh, it's already been. Never mind. Yeah, so I'll just focus leg. on getting free, and then I'm going to use my other mad skills. Okay, so give until me until this body gives out. Awesome. So give me some rolls. Give me. Um, <laughs> so you're a pilot right now. Yes, I uh, am. So if you could please give me. We are not letting these avatars take control. Uh, if you could please give me an unarmed attack roll. Not right now. Not. <laughs> yeah, not oh, right now. Scott, oh, no. uh, d- wouldn't it be defense against the uh, the, the ropes? Dark arts. No. 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 So give me a versus a ten. Versus a ten. Yep. Okay. Oh, I see what you're trying to convince me to let you do. Oh, it doesn't matter. I succeeded by okay. four anyway. Yeah, I see what you're trying to do there, yeah. Sorry, it's my Taekwondo. I succeeded by five. Cool. Taekwondo is great for getting out of rope. It's it your is. hot ass yeah. Taekwondo. It so is. yeah, you <laughs> are <laughs> able to um, to eventually AKT. start uh, figuring out how to get yourself out of these ropes. You did beat your role, I think, better than the rope use that got you bound. Mm-hmm. So that's useful and helpful in this situation in particular. I've trained um, for this. But I'm you a guys um yeah, so you, you were dealing with that in the room that you were in. Michael is kind of doped up right now and not really lucid. I already used that body up. I don't care. <laughs> oh Scott's an evil, evil man. Oh, yeah. Um, wow. So you, uh, so you were cool with, um, or, or he's not really paying attention to you right now. He's just no. barely conscious. Um, but yeah, so you do, you're, you're able to, to get yourself out of these ropes and such. It's too bad. I was so cool doing that. It was textbook. And, and then there yeah. is a, uh, and then there is a problem that kicks off. <gasps> a problem. Um, a problem. A problem. In the form of a hack attack. Yeah. And the problem. problem is. Oh God. They each to roll a d12. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty dozen. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be the same person. No. Can I re-roll some? Something you got a different? two. Two. John, you are Michael Stone right now. The barely conscious got in the bed. <laughs> 
Thank you, chat. Um, I got Williams. the same person. Can I re-roll? Robin Williams plus Stampede? No, you're still Linda. Oh, damn it. Yep. I also rolled a five again. You rolled a five again? Okay. Debbie. And what did you get? I got the bodybuilder because it was clearly time to move to a wrestler? body that could hold up to you what I wanted to do. You got the wrestler? Yes. <gasps> oh, I'm so jealous. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Who's the wrestler? Who's the wrestler? Sylvester Number the Showman Atkinson. That's right. Oh, Sylvester! Yeah, he's a really smart guy. He's, uh... Not only do I have what powerlifting, but if I'm powerlifting humans, I get a bonus. That's true. What's your gimmick? I see. I need, I need to know everything. Oh, you What's want... your finish? The Showman. So, it's gotta be theater yeah, related. The Showman. So the I'm showman. tied up right now. The Showman. Yes. I wear a top hat. No, you're not tied up. You're just oh, tied up. the final curtain. curtain. It's time. Thank you, Chad. It's time. It's time. That's, that's good. It would be the final curtain if you're the showman. That would be your finisher. And here's the thing, though. Mm, um, so there was a glitch. Encore. There was a glitch when you hopped in this time into oh, your no. space. Oh. Some sort of wire crossed. Oh. Something went a little bit off. And oh, no. regardless of who you leapt into, you all find yourself um, carrying Carl's personality with you, <laughs> the pirate fisherman. Carl. <laughs> so, Holly, I'll be we'll talking like yeah. this. <laughs> For at least the near future. <laughs> Is that going to affect our position on the uh, the chart here? No, I don't think. Because so. that dropped on you. So now I'm sorry. Before I get, so my guy Michael, he's not tied up anymore because he got he uses Taekwondo abilities to get out of the ropes, right? No, that was the that was Samantha. Yeah. You were You're tied still. Up. Yeah, you're the guy who was injured. You are badly drugged up the right now. Lasso oh. situation. So I'm in the room still. Yeah. But here's the thing. You're in the body that Maggie and I just. Michael. Learned. Is drugged up. <laughs> John is fine. So your body is giving you a bit of a penalty because it's physically somewhat incapacitated. Uh -huh. But you could get up right now and do whatever you want. Oh. And where physically is Michael's body? He is in a. He's on the second floor of the house. That's great. The bartender, <laughs> uh, Samantha, who was on the ground, tied up, has just untied herself. And you, you see that she's untied now, and you were there when she was tied and brought up there in the first place. Now am I um, moving weird because I'm drugged or because of my yeah. leg? What? I'm moving weird because I'm drugged or because of my leg? Both. You have a limp <laughs> because you did take an antenna through the leg. It was cauterized. Excuse me, it wasn't an antenna. All right, Tom. No, I am here to help time. you. He's an actual pirate. It's true. <laughs> it's very He's true. He's drugged. He has one <laughs> bad <a> leg. <laughs> Oh, so Johnny Michael Stone. Swat, so I gotta take these yeah. off. He has the same last name as as, as your pilot, Michael Stone, and and other dun, Stone. Dun, dun. John Stone. Yes, Maybe yes, it's yes. your ancestor. So um, <laughs> that sounds it's good. That's good. <laughs> you have a bag of lead. <laughs> so I got so lost in initiative during all of that. Rosie, have you gone again? Um. Uh, I, yes, I tried to go behind them. That's right. And it was Samantha's turn, who was the last. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, so I'm it's to, them now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. So the one who saw you now, so I think yeah. a shot at you. <laughs> Rosie. These dirty dozens are amazing. Sorry. Um, and yeah, fires off a shot with a pistol. Ah, and so, uh, and I'm over here, so I. on your defensive check, might just. Do hit. you want me to use Linda or Rosie? Where you are right now, defense, you need to use uh, Rosie. Rosie. Either. You can I use could either use either. Right either. So just, what's her DCD? What, I'm just gonna check my. Okay, I'm using Rosie's because it's way better. Yep. Can I set up? Uh, no, that is a 15. So that it's is a miss. That is a fail. Okay, so um, you take 15 or you take 10 points of damage. Great. From this pistol shot. I take no damage. Using up your armor or your. Uh, I'm using shield. part of it. Perfect. Um, and then I need another defensive check. From me. Yep. As another shot is made, and I will need one more after that. It's three uh, that is su a success. Great. The but is that with one, the negative? That's with the penalty, but I missed the shot anyway, so it'll be fine. Okay. So, but now it's minus eight. Yes. Or plus eight, or yes, whatever please. the damn. There's a third shot is fired at you. Well, there's no way. Oh, okay. Well, I would like to point out that I rolled double ones. Nice. But I'm going to fail because it's the eight. But double one, you'll still succeed. Oh, okay. We'll call that a critical hit. Great. Critical success. Critical dodge, you yes, mean? Yes, you managed to dodge and duck, dive, and dodge. So great! Right. Yes. 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 As three of these guys uh, took pot shots at Rosie, 
What now, mother effers? Now, meanwhile, Aquamarine, you were uh, trying to sneak on somebody else, weren't you? Or you? No, I was saving Rosie. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Um, so I saved you. The others are just continuing to do what they were doing. Marching towards the house. Uh huh. So now we'll be back up to the top. Rosie, what would you like to do? Well, I've just dodged. Mm-hmm. Wait, I was grappling a guy. So did I? Did I have to let go of him to dodge, or could I have used his body with my critical success? Uh. Because I was grappling. So I just remembered as I looked at my sheet. It could have been Sorry, I asked me the question again. So, I was just reading what the next hack attack was. We, I was <laughs> grappling originally yes. with that bro on the ground when they were shooting at me. Yes. So is my critical success me flipping over and having them shoot him instead? Sure, I like it. Love it. Uh, does he go limp? Does? Yeah, actually, he does. Fantastic. So one is down. Yep. And then I'm gonna uh, lunge at the next one. Cool. Give me the roll. Uh, that is a ten. I will take it. Okay. Uh, so I w- succeed by what? Okay. Um, defense. Yeah, you will successfully grapple that next one. Excellent. Tackle so you grappling and doing some damage then? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I throw him to the ground. Tackle him. I like that. Uh, Aquamarine, you are up next. I'd like to use my acrobatic skills to perhaps bounce against a, a local tree mm-hmm. and land on his shoulders and like a local tree. You basically want to like <laughs> twist his neck with my knees. Yeah. Okay. Give me, give me your unarmed attack roll. I'm gonna do. Also known as the thigh attack. Yeah. All stealth like, like a little cat yeah. spider. Um, I hit it right on the nose. Okay. Unfortunately. You made it? Yeah. Cool, yeah, you do. You managed to get right up there and... Oh, sweet. You see you were doing a thigh attack? Is that what I heard? Yeah. Okay. Quick, so. quick, real quick thigh attack. Like. So like getting both legs there and like twisting? Yeah, like the kind of thing of like if, if someone wasn't like specifically watching, you wouldn't know. Okay, um, in that case... She, she, she just slides down his back afterwards in like a seductive fashion and then leaves. Yeah. <laughs> and he just fall to the ground. <laughs> that's the that's He exactly dies with a weird. smile on his face. Yes. In that case, give me a um, <laughs> in that case, give me an odds evens check and tell me if you call it correctly. Evens. Odds. Okay, so he's still up, but you did manage to make his uh, neck feel very uncomfortable. He'll need a massage later. Or will he? Because he'll be dead. <laughs> well, yeah. It's a true point. We'll wait till the next yeah. time. John, I'm gonna you try are the next. same thing again. Okay. I like that move. <laughs> So obviously, I'm too far away to get to the melee. My body's compromised anyway, so I'm gonna stay up there. I'm gonna look out the window. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see if any of my cohorts down on and the ground- you're all still a pirate. You remember that, right? Yeah. Oh, we are! Oh. I'm gonna see if any of them are, right. are any of them in trouble. I can't like, understand a word you're saying right now. Ah, be inmates <laughs> in trouble. Are any of them in the process of being scourged upon by a scallywag? Aye, yes they are. Ah, who would be that is in the arms of danger? Oh, she be a troy. Ah, oh. Cthulhu would be calling her, does he? Davy Jones is waiting for her with a locker. Oh yeah. Well, what I want to do is to take arms and fire off my flintlock. Your what? My <laughs> my flintlock pistol. Your pistol. You don't have a flintlock. You're kind right, of a super guy. No, no, just the late eighties, son. Right, my blunderbuss. <laughs> Whatever the heck I be having. And I want to fire at he who be threatening her. Hi, thank you, friend. <laughs> Give Thanks, me a roll for a day. That's a team. Where be? You need to do two eights, d eights. two d eight. Oh, two eights. That is a T. Yeah, because okay. you're right. still way over uh, there. That yeah, wrong yeah. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Uh, 11. 11. Is that enough? And with a pistol, I have a a 14. Yes, you do. Lucky death. You made your shot. From up on the second floor, you look out and you take aim. You fire off quickly, wabam. Or more officially with those sounds. (laughs) And you beat it by, ooh, by three. That was Let me make a roll. Oh, that was a... My defense for that gun was not the best. You managed to get lucky, son, and you hit him square between the eyes. Yeah! Ah, it was not drunk. luck. It was not luck. Yes, it was. <laughs> Scott, you'd be up next day. 
I won't delay into the mass of miscreants. <laughs> and and I'm going to use my not ad- French. <laughs> Pirate. <laughs> that wasn't French. I know, I just wanted to give him crap. Oh. <laughs> French, pirates. <laughs> French pirates? No, you're using you, you, Use me etiquette, academia. <laughs> and me taekwondo. Hot ass. <laughs> to, to tell them how peer review shows <laughs> that their attack methodologies be. So you run outside with a showman to try and engage in hand-to-hand combat. Is that what I hear? That'd be what I'd, I'd be <laughs> doing. Be what that. you're doing? Yeah. So you run out like, oh, why not? He's not that smart. So you run and you run. I run, toss, throw, crack heads. Okay, so the problem is you're climate all... change. Be real. You be all the way pi- pilot. So your abilities are going to be your pilot's physical attack. Yes, taekwondo. Yes. Oh, that's right. Wow, Scott some. knows Taekwondo. Scott Let's does. go. Oh, he does. I'm using I'm using this body, this strong, <laughs> strong body, with all of my skills. I like oh it. Give me the gosh, roll. Oh my gosh, I love it. Come on. Uh, I will use my bonus to succeed by two. By two. You could also use the cheat code if you want. I will fail pitifully. Okay, good. Roll. I will crack heads until they accept the truth, the reality of carbon, human carbon in the atmosphere. It was the 80s, so greenhouse gas. Yeah, they were talking about it then. <laughs> I still didn't understand you there. But you did manage to do some serious damage to that one. Then you incapacitate yet another one of these scallywags. Hope, hopefully by swinging him against another. Yes. Meanwhile, other things happen. Yar. That wasn't the shanty you be humming over there. It's true. The ground starts to shake. What? What? In the midst of all this, the ground starts to shake. Okay. Okay. Looking looking towards my team. Okay. Almost like an earthquake. Mary, Linda. more like the bow of a ship. Perhaps. The house is shining in, in the high sea. All the side buildings are shining. Oh, the aliens become in the middle of the yard. The ground opens up as a sinkhole appears. What? Us? Foley man. And from the sinkhole. <laughs> yeah. A tidal wave <laughs> of giant ants what? comes pouring out. What? <laughs> Couldn't have anticipated. A wow. tidal wave of giant, of giant ants. GM, a tidal wave is an image, an allegory, not a real GM. No, it's a tidal wave of giant ants. Screw you, Nick. Do the ants be marching two by two? <laughs> hurrah, hurrah. They do indeed. Some of them are four by four. Hold on to your Nick ears, boys. But yeah, we have another hack attack, and um, the uh, there is a sinkhole that opens up in the yard, and I can't earth- understand a thing you're saying. <laughs> Let's be pouring out. <laughs> well played, well played. Uh, and uh, and the ants begin to uh, charge forward towards the house in a mindless sort of rage. Oh. One or two of them start attacking the prisoners and guards. Oh, that's good. Does not go well for them. Okay. Yeah. But they're going to keep coming towards us. Yes, they be. Okay. All right. Who's, who's, hurt, who's, who's hurt it be to do something? Is, yeah. is there, I assume, I assume that there is sugar. In the house. There's alcohol. Yeah, so there's we need a boat water. to ride the wave. Romance. <laughs> 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 what I would like to see. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh. I want to see if I can combine this. Wait, do it up. Oh. 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 All right. Well, Rosie's up next. Surely there is a rope. Surely oh, there is a rope. There is. Uh, there is. Oh. Okay, let me. Oh. Well, I would, I would posit this. <laughs> Okay. So you rope one, and I have animal training. Oh, it. 
That's true. And so They're if we can tiny. lasso uh, the, the the leader rope and try to uh, mind meld train this ant into an ally, so the ants continue to pour it's through it's the tiny. yard past the house, chomping and we need a bow. Oh, okay, animals. I need your. I need right, your. I need your pen. Straight. Okay. <laughs> All right, Chris, I'm, I'm going, going to say the pirate thing is over now. Because oh. I need to speak like a human being um, for a moment. So, um, hey, so, so, humans, boy. So to, to steal a joke from chat, then we are no longer the pilots of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, but oh, what are you doing with it? Oh, she's the gonna man. use. I know what she's gonna she's do. She's doing the ass. The total recall. Go running past the house, off into the woods. Are they giggling? No. What do you know, I know? Um, but then. Um, you hear this sound of like a thunderous trumpeting. What? Like da, da, da. talking to Gabriel is here, taking uh, coming from the direction of the forest, and from the direction of the forest, a, a stampede of elephants comes bursting out. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> they did. They nope. did. They did. Like you left this you. phone, so we're okay. Like we're Jumanji. You're being Jumanji, right? Oh my God! So Robin a stampede Williams of elephants comes stampede. running out from the forest. Oh, it makes sense. Running across in the other direction now. I would like to use the total recall. <laughs> uh, Rosie is up first. Rosie's going to run inside the building and she's going to grab the sugar cubes that I'm saying exist because we had alcoholic beverages and those are a part of any bar. That's fair. Absent. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use a total recall and use a hex destiny spell. Okay. I'm going to cast the spell upon the sugar cubes and the ants. Okay. Which is, what about the Giant sugar cube also become a big ship Ants lead to freedom. I want the sugar cubes to become giant ships that we crawl into and we will ride the ants, the wave of ants to freedom from the elephants. <laughs> what is happening here? What? <laughs> Thank goodness for the elephant sound just then. That was perfect. The elephant, I know. So the, an the ants have moved on. <laughs> hey, can we get some like what? jungle yeah, throws? No, no, us. no. I said that they did, and then I said they went by into the forest. Oh, and then, I was writing my haiku at the time. No, I'm sorry, but I, I, ha I had to because oh, Chad, okay. Chad pointed out that in their hack attack, they had specifically stipulated that's jungle true. and more of a, you know, that sort of thing. And I'm realizing now that elephants are not jungle, but at the same time, it's. It's where that I was went. good. Then I'm not. Then I can't use the total recall. So we're just gonna suck it up. The, the elephants have monkeys on their backs. So we need the total Thanks recall. Thanks for the drums, back. by the way. Um, and so those are also charging their way through and such. So we need the, okay. the total recall back. So yeah, because I can't use it. The ants are gone. I can't. It was based on the ants. Oh, I get your excuse. You see yeah. what I'm saying? No, I mean it would be ridiculous to use the total recall yeah. for elephants and monkeys, but I mean for the ants, yeah, that totally makes sense. Well, I specifically needed the sugar cubes, so the ants would be, you know, they they like the sugar. It's gonna, it's gonna. So gonna rewrite that. I was trying cube. to have like a nice relation, and then when we got off, they would have just the giant sugar cube ships that they could like. No, so I like it. I like it. So you said elephants and monkeys? Yes. They are running through in the other direction now. As as a film. Maker, yeah, and producer, yeah, sure. and so forth. Yeah, um, I'm I'm struggling with suspension of disbelief at this point. Yeah, me too. My my sense of reality has has been. This is the metaverse. You, you just this, roll with it, man. You just roll with it. This is the. What have you put me into? Metaverse. You, this is the metaverse, bro. It's 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 just how it works. Storytelling. This is how so, we set up to be. So basically, what you're saying is. This chat is going to make everything completely absurd and that I have to roll with it. Yeah. Yes. The yeah. most absurd so you could clear. possibly imagine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Absurdist humor is a, is a big thing okay. here. Question. So I'm allowed to be absurd in return then? Um, well, I mean, you gotta remember that I, as the GM, have never I'm really saying. been into absurdist humor. Uh, comedy. So this is the part where it always gets challenging. But what were you gonna say? Okay. Well, Just one, I, I, as far as things that are ab absurd, uh, I, he was about to absurd. Sorry, uh -huh. he was about to go with the fact that I was gonna make sugar cubes giant ships, and we were gonna ride ants. Yeah. So you know, par for the course, metaverse. Yeah. However, it's still my turn, and the elephants are still there. Have they moved on? They're running. Um, the elephants have also begun to run past. Just because you see giant things that are scaring you doesn't mean you have to be worried about them right away. Right, but they're they're currently. I I would like to jump onto one of the elephants and use my animal training to have an elephant. 
Yeah. I think I will allow that. Yeah, you yeah. can ride elephant. Someone had to do that. I, I would like to, so, wait a minute, I'll try. No point, but we have a cheat code. That is a four. I beat that by eight. Nicely played. I'm jumping on elephant with the last, oh, I should lasso it, shouldn't I? Maybe we should get a bunch of elephants. Lasso, that is a 10, so I beat that by two. Nicely done. So I'm, I'm taking an elephant and we'll like, we'll have a moment of like, oh, elephant to be my friend. And it would be like, oh, Rosie, you are the bomb. I mean, Rosie is quite good at animal training. Yeah. And you, you have enough mystical-esque abilities right now. I think that's the part, just out of character, that's the part that I forgot for a second there was, I was trying very hard to make this reality stay in a certain reality. And I should have known better. Yeah, you should have. I really should have known. Hey, better. chat. Well done tonight for well done, reminding chat. him that we're not well supposed to be in that reality. Like, I'll because keep that this in is mind. the goddamn metaverse. I will keep that in mind for next week. Um, this is the metaverse. Metaverse. No, I'll take that. That's, that's my own darn fault. I was not thinking it's, it. It's the double, but and like at an out. angle. And then at the um, other side. No, I, th I think we've established that in this world, the alien invasion is creating a lot of other cosmic rifts and problems. Mm -hmm. And so it seems quite likely that you could have some sort of Jumanji-esque problem would kick about as a result. Yeah, would. Aliens, um, man. Yeah, aliens, man. Love it. So I have an elephant it's like now. That meme. I, I've got the hair. <laughs> you do. It's aliens. It's aliens. <laughs> but you got Demi Moore. Uh, aliens. Oh, that's right. Right. Aliens. <laughs> Great. So we have at least one alien. I mean, I mean, one elephant at our disposal. Yes, you do. So okay. far. So, so far. What is the current danger now? So they, you they, are the animals able to. On. The inmates and the the rioting people are they still around or were they trampled by the elephants? Um, you know what? They um, some of them largely started ants. running away during this insanity because I why. while this compound was worth taking and they were aware of its um, because some of these guys. I'm just going to cut through fourth wall stuff just because I want a hand wave right now. I haven't done that for a while. Some of these guards have known this family for a while. They knew that they were, you know, preppers. They knew they had some stuff. And so they decided to make a move on it when the invasion started. Yeah, that totally makes sense. And um, But it did not go nearly as smoothly as they had assumed, uh, which in hindsight, trying to, you such. know, trying to steal a prepper's home does seem like kind of a bad idea. And um, they do. They run away. Um, leaving you guys with the um, with the family. Is the prison still on fire? Yes. Very much. When so. we look through Banox, do we are people still escaping, or is it pretty much like? Yeah, every movement? once in a while, you still see people running away from it. Hmm. I feel like we should go get the supplies that are in there. And maybe save. I mean, we can't let them burn in a cell. That's true. So while we're there, we can see if anybody's in danger of being burned, maybe put out the but fire, like, and then maybe even commandeer that whole place and make it our base of operations. Exactly. They probably have some pretty good communication stuff. Have the elephants left at this point? Yeah. Except they, for the one I am riding. Okay. Yeah. So I did not. Ha I do not have an opportunity to attempt to hack an elephant. No. Okay. <laughs> That's not how hacking works. Oh, oh, <laughs> you know, you've you not say. talked, you've not spoken with a bioscientist with a degree in genetics. Uh -huh. Lately, have you? Damn. I Combined with the powers phone. of two animal trainers. Hmm? What do you think, um, Cousin Gus? Now, I'll give you no guarantees as to how long that elephant will last. Dogs, dogs. Whether it's real or mystical or something. This is Jumanji. It lasts until the game is ended. <laughs> This implied. <laughs> that was, that was well. I really, I just the way you said that, like the delivery of that. I need to take a moment. I really enjoyed that. Um, I've been, I've been corrected. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so so the. I feel like chat can decide when they want the Jumanji game to end since they gave us the Jumanji game. I think you bring up a good point. So I get my elephant until chat says I don't have an elephant. Chat, let me keep my elephant. You're good. Yeah. You're good, Max. Or it uh, lasts. <laughs> I'm excited to get to know the elephant. Mm-hmm. Or it lasts until sundown, hashtag J E W A M A N J I. <laughs> J hashtag e -W Jumanji. M A N J I. Hashtag Jumanji? Hashtag Jumanji. J U M A N J I. Last till the sun goes down, hashtag J E W M A N J I. Oh, got J -E -W it. J E W. Like the Shabbat. Yeah. 
Do you like some, <laughs> some I wasn't Shemmings? spelling well is where that yeah. went. That was the problem. Yeah. That was a well. They keep, yeah. yeah. I liked that one. Ben's distracted by chat now. I am waiting until it's my turn. And then I'm going to let loose with all the things. Are we still in initiative? <laughs> because with the, because I would apparently like, reality doesn't matter. So, I would like to what, offer. Okay, do we want to go to the prison to check it out I, or no? I think I'm gonna push you forward on a couple things now. Okay. Because yeah, we weren't all together. Because I got really derailed by the <laughs> Jumanji. I will confess, and a few other things, and that is. Jumanji my fault. is perfect. Phoebe the elephant is staying with us. Phoebe. Phoebe. She's named it's, Phoebe. It's a female Phoebe. elephant. I like Phoebe. it. So I like um, it too. yeah. Gentle. So. The prisoners and guards have left. The house seems secure. It's night, you sleep, it's the next day. Prison is still on fire. Is Samantha, huh, oh no, Samantha's not tied up anymore. The Correct. prison is still no. on fire? I was gonna fire. feed Samantha to She Phoebe. seems to be acting much more normally now that okay. she's not well, being good. semi-controlled by a pilot. Don there, that's GM. Good. Yeah. Now this prison, which I'm assuming is made mostly of brick and cinder block and steel, mm -hmm. has been burning continuously for the last 12 hours or whatever? No, I mean, there's, you know, there's mattresses and there's other things that can be torched in a prison. There are sections of it that are older, there's some wood areas. Praise Phoebe, hashtag Praise Phoebe. Phrase, yes, 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 chat also just gave me an idea, and I'm sorry to use my phone, but I have to look something up. Keep going. But that, so that's the situation there. Um, the next morning, as you guys are discussing what to do, the uh, the kids in the family, the, the younger uh, teenagers, um, they decide to set up a game in the uh, yard for anyone what? who wants to, to play. What's your plan, B? Um, they're playing cornhole. Aww. Uh, um, Rosie because... joins right in because she is excellent at cornhole. I'm sure she what? is very excellent at cornhole. Corn it hole. turns out that the youngest son is uh, is actually a want to be a want to be a professional cornhole player. <laughs> this is true. This He's been playing for years. Wow. Which uh, son, Bobby? Uh, his name Bud? is Bud. You like cornhole, Bud? Bud loves cornhole. Mm -hmm. um, he thinks it's the greatest game ever invented. He's quite good at it. I don't even know how to play. So you've got two yeah. slanted boards with huh. holes in them, oh. and you try and throw a corn-filled bean bag uh, through the hole or as close to it as possible. Corn hole. Correct. Why that makes so much yeah, sense. Yeah, it's corn holing. It's a thing. You want to yeah. be a professional corn he holer? He does indeed. Wants to be a professional corn holer. The what was it called? The corn it was Holy called cob. Yo. The corn hole. It was the it was the cornhole championship. Championship of championship, championship of, of bags. bags. That's what Cobb. it was. Championship of bags. The championship of bags. Cobb. That's what it was called. It's good to have attainable goals. Yeah, it's a real thing. We saw it on ESPN three <laughs> during Gen Con. So Ben, I'm, I'm setting plot device. So if you wanna, I'm just waiting for the appropriate moment. <laughs> Well, that's not a plot device. That was something I was asked to bring in at some point as part of a hack attack. That's not the full hack attack, but oh, uh -oh. bringing in cornholing and professional cornholing is something that needed to happen. I'd like to play cornhole sometimes. I actually sometime. wanted to bring it in earlier and I got myself all turned around on the plot, because there was a plot when we started this. But we're um, in the metaverse. Exactly. If you can give I, me a sports roll. Can I, uh... Hey, <laughs> oh. give me a sports roll. So, can I... Yeah, just a sec, we're gonna play cornhole for a second. I okay, uh... It's a body check, if nothing else. Okay, I guess I'll give it a little shot here. Fun fact, she's really rolling. distracted by playing it with I'm fantastic at playing Oh, I got it. it, I, Bud, I, I got an eight. I thought that would mean anything really to you. You're really good at this. Yeah, thank you. Could I be a professional corn whore? Yeah, you could play with me. And he oh, flings Bud. one of his uh, bean bags and goes straight through the hole. Wow, wow, Bud, you're really good at the bagging. Thank you, this is how I unwind. It's really relaxing. It is. Times are stressful right now. They are. He th flings another one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your turn. Okay, I, fl I fling another one. Give me a roll. <sighs> Playing cornhole. What? What's? What dice? What numbers are oh. in the hole and what are on the thing and what? Never Two mind. Two in, one on. I rolled a four. Nice. Nicely so. done. You get it straight through the hole again. Yeah. You're really good at this. Thanks, Bud. <laughs> he throws straight through the center again. <laughs> he got it. Yeah. 
Go for it again. Okay, oh, okay. It's semi-professional. Thanks for, thanks for granting my dream. Oh, I did not beat that one. That's okay, lady. You still played really well. Oh, my name's Debbie. Sometimes. <laughs> and her eyes are up here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was. I was. It's okay, uh, bud. I was. I just assume you're playing cornhole in like your workout outfit, which is like a very like small sports bra. That's right. You're also the aerobics instructor, and it's the '80s, so yeah. Right. Yeah. uh, (gasps) Sports bra with suspenders. Yeah. Best outfit on. Yes. Um. Do I have Mr. Odie? Yes. Yes. I would like to use the Total Recall. Okay. I would like to channel my old avatar, Hex Destiny, to cast a spell on my elephant. I said, I said, when I see an elephant fly, <gasps> I seen everything. Wow. Dumbo. Uh, that, I don't know what, just do, total recall, what's the number? It's a 10. It's a 10. That is not what I wanted to roll, and the cheat code won't help. Oh, but behind but the scenes. Behind the scenes. Da, 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 da. I'm going to give you a bonus. Of? Five points. Five, six, oh, I'm almost, I'm very close. If we had more cheat codes, I could add it. Would you you consider that that die, that the die you rolled is a negative effect that is hampering you in the game? Yes, because we need to be able to get to different locations very quickly. This is true, and as a negative effect that's hampering you, I feel it's only appropriate that I fix it in post. Yes, my elephant can fly, my elephant has wings. You've got to be friggin' kidding me. I am not. We can all pile on Phoebe! If you need to we justify can... it, I just stayed up all night doing the appropriate genetic code hacks. Scott. Okay, I like that better. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I don't, don't give me any credits. It was all her. This is ridiculous. Yeah, no, but now but now we can use my elephant Phoebe and to fly anywhere we need to. Oh, we had a relatively alien world better. Uh-oh. with just some alien it's invasions. Better. Nothing too oh. bad. Oh. We got through that for like a little bit the first episode, and then we have giant ants, oh. and then a flood, and now we've got... Elephants? So John and I have Monkeys. been working on a project. Jumanji. With, uh, with our engineering skills and uh, computer hacking mm. skills. Yeah. And we have been modifying the various items which are found around this farm in order to create a harness for the elephant that includes flamethrowers mounted on both sides of it. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. no. We're calling it the Hannibal 3000. Yes, relevant because he used elephants. That's true. But we will cross no the cascades with elephants. this elephant. From it's the, how we won that will come from behind Mount I Rainier think froze. Mm-hmm. and take out the flying saucers with our flamethrowing elephant. We can now fight the aliens on their own turf. turf exactly. Yes. We are, we are airborne J-E-W-M-A-N-J-I. now. J-E-W-M-A-N-J-I. <laughs> so you want me to join you in the crazy is what you're telling me. Is that right? I say so not the crazy. You don't have to join us. You just have to let us roll for it. Chat started it. Join oh, us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Nolan is nodding his head. Yeah, Nolan's into it. Just, just, He's not even giving two right thumbs now. up. I'm just saying we could also get some super good fan about our flying elephant with flamethrowers fighting aliens. Phoebe like, loves this. Phoebe's super into her wings. She's not like, yeah. what Chris, it's science. It's, it's all the science. <laughs> She's pretty good. Yes. yes. Ah, check it oh. out. Oh. 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 What just, what I don't just like happened? that. Okay. What? Yes. My copy's gone. Yes. Yes, you did. Oh, God. Yes, you did. You oh, absolutely no. stayed up all night no. hacking your way through the oh, biological no. code of this oh, no. You did your engineering mumbo jumbo and you managed to put together this whole thing such hey. that you have this fantastic, fantastic uh, flamethrower mounted system on this elephant. And with uh-huh. the. With the uh, 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 My Phoebe? Phoebe. Phoebe. Can we, can we call her Phoebe? No, oh, her name no, is Phoebe, Phoebe not okay. Phoebe. Call her Phoebe. We were both Phoebe. like, no. <laughs> My apologies. Sorry. Phoebe um, is a different character. Absolutely. No, that's, that sounds great. <laughs> I love it. I'm scared by Chris's plan. You are, I know. You are absolutely 100% able right. to hack all of that stuff together. I need a um, some engineering checks from John, and I need some uh, science type checks uh, mm-hmm. from Scott. And um, you've already given me your magical hex yeah, uh, thing which and all of that, which is fantastic. I love it. And um, she just not. By seven. This is bad. Succeeded by seven? Seven. Great, I need two more successes, please. And John, I will need three successful engineering checks from you. 
Uh, you can fail once. Succeeded by four. Great. Go for that. Tom's Meanwhile, done. Aquamarine, the next morning is all this is going on, and you've been hanging out with Bud. As Bud yeah, lets you know about successful. Perfect. Bud lets you know um, that he has a secret that he doesn't tell anyone. What is your secret, Bud? That's His one, secret is that the house is haunted. Fail. What do you mean? What happened? <laughs> the house that his family lives in is haunted. With ghosts? Absolutely. <laughs> Have you seen them? Oh, he's seen this ghost several times. What does it look like? The ghost reminds him greatly of Willy Wonka, as portrayed by Gene Wilder. <laughs> is it like Willy Wonka is portrayed by Gene Wilder, or is it remind him of? It just it reminds, reminds him of. of. Very similar, yet slightly different. Can you show him to me, bud? Yeah, the ghost goes by the name of uh, Ghosty or uh, or Eris, Erislin or something like that. Eris is really different than Ghosty. Erislin, that's what? what he sometimes calls this ghost that he meets. Or Ghosty McGhostface? Mm-hmm. Erislin? Yes, Erislin the ghost. Uh-huh. Haunts this house. Uh-huh. Very friendly ghost, though. Doesn't like puns. That's true. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Luckily, neither me nor my fire flying elephant make puns. How did you do on your engineering checks? I failed two of them. Okay, so we don't get the flamethrowers, but we do have this puppy to fly. I thank right. Bud for being really honest with me, and you can be honest with me at any time you want. He will be. He's developed quite the crush. Perfect. So he leads you around the house and he shows you the different places where aerosol has been known to appear at times, and and um, and it's and it's it's quite the little adventure that the two of you have walking around. And, <laughs> And, uh, and, and such, checking out the house. And, yeah. Um, and then there's this one point where um, he, he takes you to the attic to where he most recently saw this ghost. Okay, and, um, we're doing this. And, and as, you're, as you're standing there trying and looking around to see where the ghost might be and such, um, a flock of bats comes smashing through one of the attic windows on the far side. And, pours past you through the window on the other side. And while this is going on, uh, for you, Rosie, um, your, uh, you know, your elephant um, that, you know, can now fly and such. I um, heard. A, um, a pack of zebras starts running across the yard in front of you. Uh-huh. And um, just doing its, their zebra-esque We just, Phoebe thing. and I just lift into the air and let them run underneath us. Yes, you, you actually start to fly yourself as you do that. Just your hands by waving, just like that. You lift off the ground. <laughs> Does this count as a break? No, 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 yes, no. This counts as me figuring out a way through this bullshit. <laughs> this is not bullshit, this is meeting the aliens that I would turn break, it's a break down. hovering above it's the air. <laughs> Meanwhile, what was that, John? So it's not a break, it's a breakdown. No, 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 no. He's <laughs> losing it. So John, as all this is going on, um, then a, uh, a, a pack of wild hyenas um, appears. All hyenas? <laughs> all around you. And they do. They start telling you jokes, actually. They start telling hyenas. you stand-up In jokes. The it's fantastic. They, they are excellent at witticisms and wordplay. Oh, Their geez. banter is second to none. Oh, Meanwhile, God. for you, Scott. <laughs> Holy Sorry. Waka effing moly, Chris Odie! For you, Scott. Oh, we got, oh just try me. Bats. I have a plan. Oh, I know what's happening. It is an Rats. army of lobsters walking through the yard, <laughs> singing a marching tune. Mm -hmm. Each of them with a, a swordfish laying over their side like <laughs> some sort of rifle mm -hmm. or such. Mm -hmm. Clearly. And this goes on for quite a while for all of you, and and you uh, give me a mind check, each and every one of you, as you look around and see, um, you know. My elephant is real and not a figment of my imagination. Uh, so a mind check? Mm -hmm. I'm being the jerk and using the med point. I succeeded by two. Great. What do we roll for? Uh, Your mind. Gosh, bud, these are a lot of bats. Right. So two of them Live here with that? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's crappy. I made it right on six. I beat mine by five. Who beat their checks? How did you do, Aquamarine? I beat mine by three. So the four of you as pilots, things are getting weird. <gasps> okay. So you start thinking to yourself, what was the last thing that I can remember before things went weird? We're fighting. Samantha was making those drinks. Samantha was making those drinks for everybody, and she fumbled her check to make drinks for everybody. Oh. oh, no. What would happen if she had grabbed the wood alcohol instead of the regular alcohol? Oh, no. What would have happened if she had spiked each and every one of your drinks with something toxic that might produce 
hallucinations or otherwise have you not quite in your brightest my brightest of minds. Hashtag Phoebe is real. <laughs> Samantha. And you start slowly kind of shaking it off. Like Tedris Whip. And you open your eyes and you start realizing as you look around that you're not in the attic. Bud? You're not outside. <laughs> You're not wherever the hell you were. In Each my head. and every one of you is slumped somewhere in the living room of the house <laughs> with spilled drinks passed <laughs> out on the ground. Oh no! It's like foaming and yelling at the floor. through a group hallucination. Uh, yeah, exactly. Which was brought on by some very poorly made drinks that first night. Oh my god. You get up, you look oh outside, you look baby. towards the correctional facility. It's fine. <laughs> There's no fire. This is fine. Everything's fine. Alien's it doesn't mean still that everybody's though. still locked up because there is an alien invasion going on. Oh my god. But it's more or less fine. And the group of it's you kind of laughs to yourself about, you know, that was that was kind of silly and such. And I run to the window to see if my Phoebe is still there. We'll all miss Phoebe. Phoebe is not there. <laughs> Let's make a Phoebe, Phoebe out of... There. Did we actually make the flamethrower, though? No. I'm so sad. Yeah, actually, what happened was the night before you... Uh, uh, oh, what's Linda. His name? Billy, who had been on guard duty that night. Um, he tells you that when he came in, the two of you were trying really hard to light each other's farts. <laughs> Flamethrower. Yeah. What were I doing? Yeah. You succeeded. At least once or twice. In fact, <laughs> odd even. Oh, God. You've got some scorch marks. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It's just it's just an avatar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've noticed yeah, that you them as a you're just hard for the avatars. Jeez. Man. I, I've already seriously hurt, too. The, uh, the family is a little bit um, disappointed. They're not angry, they're just disappointed Sorry, in, in your behavior oh, over worse. the night. Oh. You know, because there is a serious alien threat going on and you all decided to get lit. Uh, I, uh, we handled it we seriously it. in our heads. Yeah. I was taking them on on their own level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember the ghost? Is Bud here? Where's Bud? <laughs> there is no Bud. No, I'm kidding. There is no family. You're back in the metapods. <laughs> no. It would be funny though. Um, the. Uh, so yeah. So we all. So so basically. We so, went into psych unit. The show was all a lie. You never so, actually ever went anywhere. Let me get all this the straight. Fishermen. Yeah. We we were a group of people who uh, got attacked during the middle of a court case about a murder trial. Uh -huh. uh, got attacked by aliens who wanted to take things over. We nearly survived, I mean, barely. We got to this farmhouse to look for shelter, and the first thing we did was, you know, maybe have a few drinks because we're still goddamn alive. Yeah. And they're punishing us for that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was punishing you for that. I was punishing. You said they were looking Listen, down. Gus, come on, you've, you've needed to let loose. Yeah. Oh, oh, the family. That's what you're just saying. Yeah, the family. Oh, that's what you're just saying. No. You said um, they were looking down because we had we had gotten wasted. Thank you very much. We had just survived an alien invasion. Right. I think we are allowed to spend you a know, night. You do. You say that, and uh, you make a valid point. I do. Thank you so much. You do. Um, Sorry. So they go about the rest of their day doing their chores and such, <laughs> and everyone's trying to get supplies oriented and kind of figure out what to do next. Okay. And, and all of that fun stuff. And um, you guys have an opportunity to. to Kind of scout around the the compound, if you will, the homestead. Would well, it be possible I, for the five of us to have four four of us to have a conversation with you know, as our as our you know, pilots? Pilot, you're all, so, all, all, all pilot. You're all for all pilot, right? Oh, now. convenient. Yeah. I say we go. Could we to, go somewhere private. To the, yeah, let's okay, go Scott. somewhere private. So you head outside, and uh, should there we are go some, inside the fragon wagon? There are some yeah. outbuildings that you can get to. Fragon wagon. Fragon wagon. Um, the wagon. And so, yeah, so you you go into the garage where the fragon wagon is. We won't hop And um, you notice? Um, no, you don't notice anything. Yeah, go, go ahead and go in the fragon wagon for now. Well, we're gonna go in and turn them on and tell them, you know, lock yeah. the door and yeah. lock the windows. I'd like and to see you turn on the fragon wagon. Please begin. Turn. We'll turn. Okay. I'm driving. Yeah. I got driving. Well, we don't have to go anywhere. Because... Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, is it always like this? I got this? driving. Yeah, it's always like this. Yeah. 
Well, Chad. Yes, no, Scott. I, I, seriously. Oh, well, he's in character. I'm in character. Like I'm in character. Is yeah. it always? Yes, yes it is yes, always Scott, like this. It is. And what? If reality is so malleable, what's the point? That's a well, good question. What is the point? The, Why far, are we doing as, this? Well, as far as we know, from what we were told, uh, the the things that we do, some of the things that we do here, right, uh, stay with us when we leave. So we're when basically we're in- like lab rats. Like, you know, uh, n- Nick. Because this, this world should not exist. This world is right. improbable. Right, well, it doesn't exist. It's it's in a metaverse. It's in a metaverse. It's in a metaverse. So the only thing that matters is what we take away from this experience. Well, to them, but... I, but if they're not real... No, yes. the, the people who are keeping us in that house are real. The founders. Well, the founders are kind of running this whole show. We don't really know yet. I mean, I know I've never been told exactly who they are. No, you're not gonna. I just want to know why I'm busting my ass to use the vernacular in order to save people in a situation that is absurd who are not real. That's all I want to know. Because uh, we have never experienced a death. When I don't know what happens. If you die in the metaverse, I don't know what happens in the metapod to your body. I don't know if, if you die. I mean, the only one who's well, oh, died had regeneration, so she kept coming back. Oh, wait a second. You're saying that we are act- at actual risk here? We I don't know. know. We literally don't know. We're just... Well, we, what else but I'd rather fight and, so, and not die than find out. And I did. Clearly, if you, if you have been doing this for a while, mm-hmm. this is something that we need to know. Kill me. I'm not gonna kill uh, you. It's too much of a risk, man. Okay, no, no, I'm not murdering someone. It's for science. Find out. You no, it's not for science. We know what happens. Uh-uh. What are the stakes? What are the stakes? Kill me. You can do no. it yourself if it's so important. Great. Give me a gun. Oh no. I don't have have Scott. One. Scott, this is a little weird. Why don't we just wait until we're back inside the real world and then we can talk about what we could do next time? I'm volunteering myself. For the sake of science, so that we can understand the state. For the sake of science, Scott, don't you have anyone you love? No. Ho- well, no? I mean, you're, no. right now you're piloting somebody. That's a, that's a body you got there. But you want I, to kill I, that person? Yeah, to see if he dies in the metapods, but... That's kind of cavalier to play with somebody else's body, man. I mean... It's not real. We don't know that. We well, actually, that's true. We, we don't know if it's real or not. I mean, maybe they what, found what some... What is real? I saw elephants and so ants. Sylvester does standing. have his dear father, Frank, who would miss him dearly if he... Well, the elephants and the ants, we were all drunk, dude. We were drunk half the time. We were tripping, Scott. We were tripping. How do you know? How do you know we're not tripping right now? You're right. I don't. You Look, really don't. Scott, we also don't know if if they found, you know, what if they, what if, what if this is Stargate and they found some I, stupid wormhole mm-hmm. and, and this is actually real people that yeah. were taken over? You have actually seen. Joe's Diners. You, you do have some experience with someone who has died in an avatar before. We do? Oh. You have a member of your party who has died in an avatar who? before. The one who's not quite right. One who's not quite Quiet right. You mean crash? Nick. Nick? Nick uh, died? Nick died, remember that? Oh, no. yeah. That's right, he's a, what's that term? Gestalt. That's where that whole gestalt, gestalt thing uh, came out of for a while and everything else? Right, oh, I, th- I didn't realize he, but he hadn't His died. avatar died. His av- that's right, his avatar died and he, he his consciousness was stuck here. Mm-hmm. That's right, he was. But he made it out. Only because we have randomly found him, because we were sent to go find him. Yeah, it only took half a year or more. Maybe it was eight months. I mean, granted, and during I that can't time, do he, this. he thought he was King Theodore. So I can't do this. I let want to out. try to use okay, my I'm seduction. Done. can't let you out. Not as actual seduction, but you know what I mean, to try yeah, to yeah, persuade yeah. him yeah. to at least ride this out and let us hash this out after this mission is done. We okay. don't know anything. We can't find out anything. We don't know what's real and what isn't real. How can I science if there is no way to repeat anything? Well, of where's, course, our, where's the peer review? There you, of course, realize things. there are sciences that leave a lot of questions, even more questions than actual answers. This feels like and so all I'm positing is that for now, yeah. we try to get through this mission, save as many people as we can. Once we're back to the pods, we're back to our normal selves, we, we can bring this, this conversation up again. Okay. And right about then, there's kind of some crackling over the uh, speakers of the Fragon Wagon. And uh, you hear... Hey, old friends, it's good to see you again. Welcome back. It's been a while. I've been hanging out by myself, got a little bit lonely. 
Happy to have you back inside me. Hashtag phrasing. <laughs> Hasn't been invented yet, but I still did it because I can predict the future. Not true. Hey, so how's it going? Hey, fragging. Well, I think it's a little high. I can understand that. High. Thought you'd want to know that they are broadcasting again. The, the aliens? The, oh, can we, to, where's Michael? Absolutely. I can't uh, I can't really tell you uh, what they're saying because I'm having trouble hitting on those frequencies, but I have enough of the equipment you left behind that I can tell they are broadcasting in the vicinity. Oh, we got to find out what they're saying. In the vicinity. Okay. That's all we can do. In the vicinity. Great. Great. So, um, yeah. just, just like they were earlier. So Did I forget to tell you that? I am so sorry. We forgive you. Meaning that they're getting closer. Or they're tracking us. By my calculations yeah. and understanding of your experience of time, I believe there have been four broadcasts in the past 24 hours. So... You were out for a while. Were you <laughs> able to... So... We have to find out what they say. In analyzing signal strength each time, we were able to ascertain if they're coming closer to us or further away and at what rate of speed and from what direction? It's been static. It's been close. <laughs> We gotta find out what it, what the what they what, what are they? Well, I get uh, me! Scott. We have to table this conversation and do not kill yourself. I won't kill myself. Yeah, we need your help. I am gonna go outside and make a field observation. If they're nearby, let's see if there's saucers in the air. That sounds good. I'm gonna run to communication well, and see if window. we. What, did anyone write down? I'm sure someone wrote down what they were saying for the other broadcast we missed. The family's not stupid. You can go back and go talk to them. Yeah, let's go talk okay. with the broadcast. Okay. Do we see anything outside when we go back? Uh, you step outside, you see that um, one of the kids, uh, Birdie, is hanging out outside of uh, one of the outbuildings. Mm -hmm. okay, and um, she's just kind of looking around like this. And then she sees you guys and she goes, Huh, she's a little caught off mm -hmm. guard there. Hey, Hi, Birdie. Birdie. Hey, Birdie. Hey, y'all. Good to see you. Are you okay? Oh, great. Hmm. Did you see something? Do I have to go Birdie? back inside? We can go have some pie. Birdie, did you see something? What? Did we startle you? No. Nope. Birdie. No. What did you see? Uh, what do you mean? Birdie, tell, me, tell us what you saw. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I forget who you are, Sylvester. I don't know uh, what you're talking about, but I would love to go inside and have some pie. Why are you so eager to get inside, Birdie? Why do you want pie so bad? We don't have to just have pie. We can have some cake. Ice cream. We've got ice cream. Does she what have pigtails? I'm doing weird, Birdie. Just wondering. No. No, just wondering. Sense motive. Go for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to sense danger. You can definitely sense danger. But it's, oh, but I, I, I assume I can sense it's coming from her or from somewhere else, right? Like, my sense is, like, where it's coming from. How about we go with persuasion? Would that, like, yeah, tell yeah, us? Yeah, take your pick. What do you want to roll with? Uh, uh, persuasion. Go for it. Beat it by 10. Okay. And I'm going to use my social science uh, psychology. Okay, give me the roll. Oh, fair. Okay. Birdie, I want to persuade you to tell us what's by going three. on. Okay. Anyone else? Rosie, John? I don't, I don't need to. I was going to use my uh, interrogation, but I think they're probably hitting it pretty good. I mean, yeah. if you just want to know on your own, I mean. <clears throat> I just would sense da like the, the direction yeah. of the danger, which I, so I beat it by 11. Uh, yeah, she's, I mean, clearly hiding something. Okay. Tell us okay. what it is. So I, interrogation. Uh, no, I think we should all, why don't we all just head back to the house? I think that'd be a great place for us to go. Well, you know, Birdie. Birdie. I can so, go, uh, I'll go, I'll go make some pie right now. I you know. She starts trying to like grab your arms. Birdie and, is in the Touch me. If we so, eat, is the only place we can talk to you when we can eat pie. Would you rather tell us something over a nice slice of pie than rather I, out got, here? I've got nothing to talk about. Let's oh, have some pie. So I have uh, succeeded with my uh, interrogation role. Mm -hmm. And so I just kneel down and I look at her and I say, Birdie, we can all tell that you're trying to hide something. This is a dangerous situation and it really will help us and your family be safer if you tell us what it is you're trying to hide. Oh, I just... I just wanted to make sure y'all are taken care of, and she looks back at the door that she's been standing in front of. And, oh, uh, God, Bernie. She says, I just, I'm, let's go, would you like some chicken? No. I could make you up a mess of chicken. I fry some great chicken. <laughs> I mess. bet you do, but we have supplies on a, on the vehicle we came in on, and I we're think good. we're going to go back there. We're good. I'd like well, to look inside good. the building that she's guarding. Oh, God. I think uh, she was trying to 
Well, it's you. You'd be that direct. Um, so you just go to the door. Yeah. Oh, uh, and she immediately says, oh, you don't need to go in there. And she reaches over to grab your arm. <gasps> I'm a bodybuilder. I'm just going to lift her up. Oh, that's right. You are. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> you are. You're a wrestler. It doesn't matter that you're Scott. No. I won't even make your roll. <laughs> yeah, you do. The door is locked. I, let me let me make a strength oh. check. Uh, go for it. A body check. Yeah. Uh, uh, He's going for it. All right. Uh, where's my... How is my body only six? No, wait. That's, that's, you, that's Scott. Right. Your, your body is seven. 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 Yeah, I still failed miserably. I can't unlock it with my fist. Oh. Um, so Real world bodies are not that easy. Ooh, I can count. cat burglar it. You could. Give me a break and enter and check. Oh, okay. Because you're holding her, so she's not Bro, going anywhere. I need it by 10. Burglar ten? Cat. Yes. You basically okay. look at the lock and say, how you doing? <laughs> the lock screams open by itself. You seduced a lock, Aquamarine. How the hell did you do that? That's what I do. I it wouldn't be the show if nice. I didn't do that. Um, but you do. You go. You jiggle it, and and Birdie is is just <laughs> she's thing. trying to to just jab her on, and you clamp her up, hand over her mouth so she can't talk anymore. And uh, Aquamarine, you open up the door. I'm looking at her. Hey, hey. The door sprung open. <laughs> and you see um, in front of you, the outside of this building was just another nondescript, you know, uh, what do I want to say, um, outbuilding Yeah. On, on the place. And you walk inside, and it seems to be a, a storage closet of some sort. Okay. Um, it looks, you know, not, not a closet, but I mean like a tool shed sort of situation going on. Not that big. Uh, give me a... Uh, anything related to observation that you have as skills? I have a heightened senses. Heightened senses in what? Hearing. Stay on it. What? Hearing. Oh, give me that. Give me a, a body check with a plus four bonus for your hearing. I just have heightened awareness with nothing on it. Give me a plus four mind check with a, uh, or a mind check with a plus four bonus. Thank you. I have smell plus four. So I give me a body with a plus four. Uh, succeeded by four. I'm Beat it by three. Beat it by eight. I have street sense. I like it. knowledge. Yeah, that would work. Give me street sense. sense. You've been around people who lie. Beat it by one. As a group, because you were badass, tricked out pilots and such, you look around for a second and you're like, this makes no sense. Why is she being so obstinate about not wanting you to go here if it's just a friggin' tool shed? That floor falls Clearly that's not the case. And uh, you look over and you notice that um, there is a, a gas can uh -huh. um, that... Um, Seems to that that it's um, what do I want to say? It's 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 one of those old ones. Have you ever seen those ones that have like not a screw up uh, thingy, but like a spring loaded thing that you push and then oh, yeah. the pop open happens? Oh yeah, yeah. This one's just popped open by itself, like it's stuck that way. Okay. Um, which is, is kind of weird. So um, mm -hmm. one of you, one three four, Aquabrain, you walk over and you just push it. Oh god. And it uh. <laughs> clamp shut, and uh, right then, um, oh, I did that wrong, because it would pop open, doesn't matter. Um, as soon as you as soon as you pushed it, um, one of the walls slides to the side just a little bit, uh -huh. and you see a ladder going down. Shit. And, with, and with your in heightened uh, sense of hearing, you can hear some noises going down from down below. You can hear something being, you can hear some murmuring and such. So talking uh, noises. Talking noises, okay. yeah. Something, they're high pitched, whatever they are. Something weird going on here in Monroe. And um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand wave Rosie. You take advantage of your roping to bind Birdie really quickly. Oh, for sure. So that she is not for a sure. problem. You guys set her down. You all start going down the ladder. As you get down. Is there a hook on the back of the door? Because I'd like to hang her. Yes, like classic old TV style. Yeah, there is. Cool. There is. And she's so she hanging. can't, she can't even walk anywhere. No, she's she just hanging. And you get down there, and you see, um, as you get down to the bottom of the ladder, you see, and it's get, the noises are getting louder as you get down there. And it's just, you hear that sound. Oh, no, 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 no! That sound going on. And you look, uh, as you reach the bottom of the ladder and drop, you look through a little doorway. You're in some sort of underground bunker. And you go to the, to the doorway, oh, and uh, no. you look in, and there is this video screen up on the wall. Unlike anything you've ever seen, Unless you live nowadays, in which case it wouldn't look that impressive. Right. But in the 87, you would have been like, oh, shit, it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and it's so beautiful. It's in like 
1080p. Um, it's not 4K. It just. <laughs> um, but you see um, three of these faces looking down from the screen with these giant bulbs off their heads. But instead of uh, instead of like brain matter, they are these eyes that kind of what? seem to be on almost short stalks that rotate around. They're down like this. Um, that, that um, what do you want to say? Um, they are, I have it right here. Gross! I just want to make sure I get all my details right. They do have green skin, and the face looks almost kind of like a melted, um, like some sort of melted frog amphibian-like face. Ugh. No, I'm not going there. Um, it's the close to the thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And there is like this glistening silver suit that, okay. they, are, That's that they are each wearing. Space. Yeah, I would um, expect. I would expect silver suit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, and this huge like some sort of acrylic or somethingy uh, shell over the top. Oh my god. Except that there is a mask portion that has like this. Does that kind of make sense? Mm hmm Yeah, good okay. visual. Mm -hmm. And they are chattering at each other in that language back and forth with these giant eyeball stalks that are looking up. And, um, well played, Fractali. They are aliens. That's good. Islands. And um, uh, and for us and and it just so happens, Scott, that you had been filling around with some of the tech on um, the Fragon Wagon for a moment earlier, and you had you realized that you still have some of those components on you, and you and um, see, I am useful, chat. <laughs> and Aquamarine, you had liberated uh, Michael's phone at one point. Liberated it. Yeah, just because you thought it should have someone else responsible for it. And um, Scott, you knew this, and so you gesture over at Aquamarine, who hands you the phone, and you you really quickly hand a couple of things together, and it clicks, and uh, and you turn it on, and you start, and as soon as you do that, the um, the clicking that you're hearing um, switches over and starts coming out of the speaker yes, on the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. And the big voice, the big one up there says, Status report. <laughs> and standing down at the ground looking up um, are the Reynolds, Gus and Nadine. Fucking Reynolds. Philosopher. And they both bow down. And one says, um, Flip this table. And, and Nadine says, Hail, great leader. <laughs> Phase two is nearly ready to begin. Our agents across the planet have moved themselves into position and await your signal. This planet's puny inhabitants will not be able to stop us. And up on the big screen, the big ones look down and say, Excellent. May shine upon you in blessing. And then the screen goes dark. I'm gonna torture the shit out of those Reynolds. And the Reynolds turn around oh. and see you, and you see them. And I lasso their stupid butts. And we all know that that's where it's ending for right yeah. now, for tonight. Of course it be. Well done, you guys! <laughs> Thank you so much! Oh, that's crazy! That was one of the most epic saves I've ever seen mm -hmm. in a game session. That was really good. Was so fucked up, all that stuff that was going on. We've got a waffle we got to drop really fast, guys. Don't forget this Kickstarter that I really want to do as a one-shot. Uh, Department of Spin. Please check this out. I think next week I'll try and actually do it really briefly just so we can do it. Um, Mahadale, sorry if I butchered the name, threw a, uh, a waffle at us that is Pink Floyd and Gundam. Uh, the anime, um, which I realized I was woefully inadequate for for both. But we're going to really quickly try and drop this song out. Um, and I thought we'd use another brick in the wall as the song. And I'm trying to remember how this goes right now. Um, oh, yeah, we don't need no education. So if you guys could help me with all the funky music that goes in the background, you know what I mean? Da -da -da, you know. So, uh, so we don't need no education. Some people prefer battle tech. Burn it. Burn it. Some people, they like Macross. Burn it. 
Malhadel enjoys the Gundam. If you don't, well, that's your loss. Big robots with differing copyrights. <laughs> All in all, they're just another mech after all. All in all, big, stumpy robots having a ball. Jump and once built a life size Gundam. Sixty feet of Megamite. Picture those sized mechs on Fridays. That BDF fade on right. Hey, thumpers, now that's a budget goal. After all, it's fun to escalate each season. Get on that Nah, you know I'm just teasing. And there we go. That would be that one. New song. Okay, Ben, you were cut off. You hold the wood grain alcohol. Chef, thank you so much. We made it through Chef. this evening. Um, it was holy crap the things that you threw. That was, uh, you're amazing. We'll have to be more on my game for next week. That's two weeks in a row without a break! I don't know! Bam, ba -da -bam, ba -da -bam, ba -da. I love it. What? Nothing. It did. I'm happy. I trust you. I think I did. I don't, you do well. I don't feel like I did. But so much uh, thanks, love, and support. I know we're going to send stuff down to LA in just a second. But for one last time, uh, for all the Masters of the Metaverse type folk, uh, go down and say hi, goodbye, your name, and all that. And we'll see you guys next week. Oh, Sean Franklin as John Stone. Maggie Ferguson Wagstaff. Ben Dobbins as the asshole. Yeah. Vanessa Postel. And I'm Chris Odie, your GM. Thank you for hanging out with us, guys. Spread the word. We are uh, really trying to start building up the uh, support and audience. Uh, what do you want to say? Building up the number of folks who keep eyes out on what we are doing. So feel free to spread spread the word. It's okay if people Tweet us. can't uh, contribute, but we still have Tweet to have the eyeballs too. So uh, take care, love you a ton, and we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.